Okay. Hi, Rachel. Let me make sure my table's not touching the cord thing here so it's not jiggly. Oh, okay, let's uh let's uh autofocus again. Okay, can you hear me? My mic wasn't on my blue. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. You can? Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to show. So I bought some pins over the weekend with some of my birthday money. Thank you, guys, for the happy birthday wishes. Hi, Riri, Melody. Rachel, Lisa, Stars, hey, Julie Topaz, hi, Janet. So let's see, it's a little dark right here. That means this light needs to come up. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, great. Hubster's still here where he's getting, he's talking, uh, waiting on the plumber to call. Uh, I'll have to show I took a video so y'all can see what I, what's going on. It's dark right here. Why is that dark right there? Why is that dark? I need more light. More light. Okay, so I bought some pins. I bought some pins. Um, let's move it this way. With my Norma Hobby Lobby money. Let's see. This needs to go this way. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get it all on. There we go. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, guys. Hi, newbie. Thank you, Teresa, Kenny, Diana. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. We're going to be doing some giveaways. I'm going to give away stuff on my birthday. Not these. I just bought these for myself. <laughs> but I thought we would work on some pen and ink samples and things like that. So y'all know I always come. It's dark right there. Okay, let me move this. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Why is that dark right there? It's a dark spot. Hang on. Denise is calling. Tell me happy birthday. Oh, look. This is her fuzz head. See what I mean? Fuzz head. <laughs> Good morning, fuzz head. Good morning. You're on speaker. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the song of the world. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, honey. You just sang for the... You just sang for the girls, too. <laughs> oh, wow. What a treat for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, Eileen. I just lost about 40 followers. <laughs> no. Denise goes, I just lost about 40 followers. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, thank you, honey. Yeah, Ken and Mom already called. And, oh, um, yeah, your dad's waiting on the, the plumber to call. They're going to come right after one. At one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, i got time to stream. Yep. Yay! Will you make sure that that towel is the uh, short right, right, one? Right, okay. Right. All right, honey. Thank you. Okay. Thank All you. right. <laughs> Your dad said hi. Hi. Well, <laughs> I wanted just to say happy birthday. Tell you how much I love you. Oh, have thank a you. Great day. Thank you we'll so celebrate much. This weekend. Okay, honey. Love you too. Thanks so much. I'll I'll call okay. you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Uh, hi, Faithful. Hi, Pecola. Yeah, Denise called Essie, Kimberly. Uh, anybody else I miss? Louise, thank you. Yeah, Denise just called to tell me happy birthday. So let's, let me see if I can move some of this down here where I'm going to be working. I could just move the paper. There we go. <laughs> uh, hi from France. Uh, it's au revoir. That's goodbye, right? Au revoir. I just remember that from Pee Wee Herman. Au revoir, Pee Wee. Au revoir. <laughs> I forget what hello is. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Terry's here. Hi, Terry. <laughs> Let's see. I'll show you my, I'll show you my, I did take a video of my, uh, what we're dealing with in the house. Your car's going to be late because no mail for two days. Oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. Oh, the postal strike up in Canada or what? 
No, you're not in can. You're not. Are you, you're not in Canada. You're in Wisconsin, aren't you? <laughs> um. Oh, probably because your weather, right? Your weather up there. Hi, Nina. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour, Nina. <laughs> okay. Wait. What was I going to look up? Oh, yeah. My my uh, <laughs> my soundboard to say good morning to Terry. Hang on. Okay. So we got to say good morning to Terry. <laughs> Oh, that's a little close. <laughs> Hi, Terry. So uh, I'm not going to say yet. I'm going to. I come on. I come on early to talk. You know, for a few minutes, say hi to everybody. So we are early. So I'm not going to talk about my new pins yet, Janet. <laughs> Um, Hobby Lobby had all their pin sets 40% off. These were not in clearance. Um, these were not in the clearance section. They were just 40% off. Uh, any pin, all the pin sets. So I bought three new pin sets. Thank you, Norma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I will, Janet. You know I'm going to show you things you like. Do you have the Modern Lettering Pit Artist Pin Set? Do you have the Pigma, um, let's see, what's it called? The Pigma Brush Set? Or do you have the Le Pen Drawing Set? <laughs> I know I'm bad, right? Thank you. Thank you, Designed by Jeannie. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, guys. Hi, hiya, Sammy. <laughs> I know so bad. I'm gonna do a couple giveaways. I am gonna save the book for Wednesday because that's um when the first Wednesday. Let me show the book again. The first Wednesday of the month, I give away a book. So this Wednesday, it's gonna be this one, the color workshop, step by step to creating artistic effects. And uh, I'll, I'll flip through it again on Wednesday. But this is going to be our Wednesday uh, book of the month giveaway. Uh, but I do have some other things I'm giving away. And I have some a couple little birthday things to show. Uh, Terry Trouble sent me some handmade. I'll show you one. I'll go ahead and show you one. Because y'all are y'all are here early. So you get to see early. I'll show it again, though. She sent me two different pin cases. Oh, I got to show y'all one other thing, too, she said. And look at her little tag. It's so professional. Her name, the name of her Etsy is on there. And just look how cute this is. So vintage. And look, it's so nicely made. Look, inside. Look, well, I can't really, I don't want to flip it inside out. But you see, look at the pretty fabrics on the inside. Terry, it's so nice and well made. And Janet, just for you, I'm going to show them again, Terry. Janet, just for you, I think she, I think she should have sent this to you. <laughs> she sent me a can of something, Janet. Terry sent me a can of. <laughs> it's a full can of it. <laughs> I put the note inside. <laughs> Uh, here's the little note. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it's a full can. You know, it's a can. <laughs> so anyway, this game, this game, this game with the, uh, the two pin cases that she sent me. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, so, um, I'll show you both the uh, pin cases and, the. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Terry. Oh, what a chance. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it. Well, look, it was a close, <laughs> Janet. So anyway, uh, yeah, and I have a couple things that I bought and then I got a couple things. Everybody sent me uh, some nice cards, some gift cards. Scooby sent me, there's Scooby. Hi, Scooby. Scooby sent me a nice check for my birthday. Um, I will be, and uh, Janet sent me a Barnes and Noble uh, e-card. So I'm going to be shopping next weekend. This was Super Bowl weekend. So we didn't go downtown and all. And I, I don't know if you heard Denise saying, we'll celebrate next weekend. So I'll be going up to see Denise. So I'll be spending my 
birthday money, my birthday gift cards next weekend, if I can hold off till next weekend. So, um, so Norma, you know, she sent me a Hobby Lobby gift card. This is what I bought at Hobby Lobby. Some of the stuff I got here. Um, and then what I did, you know, that Valentine box that Norma had uh, sent me had all these heart stickers all over. So I took off all the heart stickers and I'm going to write everybody's name in my little um, journal uh, that, you know, wish me happy birthday, send me birthday greeting, you know, all the, it's going to be a birthday page. So it's going to be a birthday page. I have a list. I have a list of here of people to add to it and I'll send thank you uh, notes out. Um, hopefully Norma will get her fish today. I don't know why. Usually when I send post office, it tracks at city to city and tells me exactly where everything is. I haven't checked this morning, but last night it just said, oh, it's on the way. It's not telling me where it is. Norma, we better get your fish to you today, or I'm going to be calling that post office. So anyway, uh, but it's, you know, it's on the way, but it just tells me it's on the way. I've never had tracking just say, oh, yeah, it's on the way. What's that all about? So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. Did I see Norma here? I don't know. Do I see her here? So anyway, thank you, Catherine, Lisa. Hi, Vonnie. Yeah, thank you, Vonnie, for my birthday gift. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to put on, make the, make a little birthday page in one of my uh, travelers here. Oh, she is here. I thought I saw her. I thought I said hi to Vonnie. I mean, uh, to uh, Norma. Yeah. So yeah, Norma, hopefully you will get it today. We're, we're, we're going to be on, on top of that post office, if not. <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. No, but she's in, she's in Missouri. I don't. Is Missouri having, Norma, are you having any issues with your, with the uh, weather? I know you are, Julie. You're up there in the like zero to zero to zero <laughs> weather. But um, yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, I don't want to start yet. We're going to have mail for three days. Uh, well, yeah, that's, but when you're up in the, in the Midwest up there where there's, Missouri's having issues too. Okay. We've had no you no mail except package deliveries. Well, it's a package, Vonnie. So maybe it's a package, a tube. It's a mailing tube. Norma bought my big fish. She bought my big black and white lionfish poster. And so uh yeah, hopefully that gets to her today. Thank you, Louise. So anyway, um, let me move this. I got I put on one of my little bracelets here that had the little dangles that the kids gave me for Christmas. But um, I don't want to put it on this hand because this is the hand I'll draw with and I drag it through paint and ink and everything. So, <clears throat> so just waiting a minute here. Thank you, Louise. Hi, Marianne. So, so yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and show y'all here. Oh, no, that's okay, Sammy. I'll show you this video and you'll see why I'm not going anywhere. Well, I don't go a lot of places anyway. It's really, you know, I'd be, I'd be streaming today regardless, but I'll show you. So my house has, it's like a split level. It's like a split level. And uh, the upstairs, three bedrooms, two baths are upstairs. And then I have a den, a half bath, a laundry room, and then the kitchen, dining room, which is a library. I don't, my library, my dining room is a library. And then a great room, which is like the living room. Well, all that's fine, except the den is a sunken den, two steps down. We, it's the man cave room, right? Well, the water heater in the garage, which is right outside the den, the water heater leaked and leaked into the house, under the wall, onto the carpet in the den. So the insurance is going to pay for all that. But we have to, of course, buy the, you know, we already have the water heater. The, the water heater is going to be replaced, but it had already leaked, right, under the um, under the carpet. So the, we, they had to tear up the carpet, put those big, huge fans in there to dry it out. And then um, the plumber's coming today. Hubster just said one o'clock or thereabout. 
So I know, right. So let me show y'all the video. I took a video. This was yesterday, right? So we also in the den in a in an L-shaped corner had a huge office desk. Top, you know, like it was a big L, extra heavy, had like shelves on it, and that's where we keep the the um the main computer downstairs. So I stream off the laptop. So it had the computer down there, the printer, the cable boxes, the routers, all that stuff was on that big desk. So we're trying to dismantle that big desk, take it all apart, but not disconnect the internet and all that. Because especially, you know, it's before Super Bowl, right? So we still have to get the carpet out. Well, we don't. They'll they'll take the carpet out from where the desk was. So we dismantled that desk. You should have seen us. And had to go around all these big fans. And oh. So anyway, I'm going to show you the video. This is a video I made for Denise. Uh, I sent it to her yesterday. But I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Hubster's vacuuming up a corner where the desk was. Because we'd already taken the desk out. So I'm going to show you the video. I know, right? Here we go. Okay, wait. Let me turn down the lighting so it shows up better. Okay, so here's a video that I took. Okay, let's see if you can see it. That's cords. That's a huge so desk. So that's, yeah, so that's what, um, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> I know it's a mess, right? It is a mess. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so that's what we've been dealing with and uh, with those fans. And, the, and you know what's so funny? Those fans, you know how loud those big industrial fans are? And we have like five of them, five of them in the den and three of them in the garage. The cats are not afraid of them at all. Not afraid of them at all. Walk right by them. Look at them. Nothing. They are not afraid of them at all. <laughs> no, the hot. That's just it, Bonnie. The hot water heater works. The hot water is fine. We have hot water. We have hot water. So it, it just. But you know now. Now that you know we, we're controlling the leak into those pans. And into you know the the water's being caught, but everything has to be dried before they can replace or do anything. Um. So yeah. So the no, the cats are not a bit afraid. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And so um, anyway, so the plumber's coming. Hubster just came in and told me he'll be here at one. So he'll come back uh, from work at lunch. And uh, at least do the initial dealing with them. And then he, when he goes back to work, I'll have finished streaming by then. So then I can go, you know, downstairs and deal with whatever needs to be done. Right. So this is my birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Becca. Yeah. So it's fine, guys. I mean, really, it's it's just, you know, it's not it's not that it's not the end of the world. You know, it's a mess. And we did get all that desk out. But, you know, here's the thing. Oh, my gosh, guys. Cleaning out that desk. That desk has been there for uh, 17 years, 18 years. Same desk that we've had. It's a huge, big L-shaped, oversized towers, you know, with, with, you know, shelving and all that. We took it all apart. But there's so much old stuff. I got wires and I, I have a uh, floppy disks. I, mean, I don't even know what's in that desk. So we put everything, we emptied the desk out into one of those big plastic tubs. I mean, one of those big four foot, three, well, I guess it's three, three foot by two foot, one of those big ones, and it's completely filled. So the only thing is, is I'm hoping I can get my printer, because uh, I can't print anything. 
Um, I'm hoping to get my printer set back up because the cave, I mean, the, um, the computer and all that's just sitting on a coffee table now. Um, so uh, my printer's not hooked up. So um, if, you know, if I'm going to send you guys anything, well, come on up here, Malibu. Come on up here. Um, so the printer is like disconnected for at least for the rest of the, probably the rest of the week. You have a whole room like that that's flooded, Kenny? You have a flooded room? <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Thanks for the happy birthday. So, yeah, Malibu, as long as she doesn't go over there by the cords, you can't go that way. Okay. So, um, she usually likes to sit in the window. I have the window open. It's nice here, guys. Let me tell you the temperature here. Um, what's the temperature here? Let me go to my weather app. It's 42, but it's not, it's not cold. It's not cold at all. So thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Rachel, Katrina, everybody. Oh, and speaking of apps, I'm going to blame my uh, dev modernist colorist. I don't, I don't know if it's seen him here, but uh, I watched his recording. I wasn't able to be there live. Hi, Norma. Yeah, no, no, no. What good will that do? I mean, you know, there's that, that's, you know, there, you know the major all right baby you're gonna have to get down come on you're gonna try to get in the courts uh you know this is this is nothing compared to you know real problems but anyway dev sent um dev showed this app i'm gonna show it to you guys real quick while we're waiting for nine o'clock dev sent and i mean showed an app on modernist colorist on his show sammy i think sammy was there i wasn't there live but i watched the recording and it's called Artie. It's called Artie. It looks like that. It's a purple, it's a little purple app. And um, what it does, okay, so I already picked a flower to show you. So what you do is, well, let me go, just let me go back to the, let me start out. Well, okay, I think this will be okay. So I just picked a flower, uh, a pink rose, because I wanted to test some colors. And what it does is, you upload a picture to the app. I just got this picture of this rose here for a demo. And I, I've only used it a couple times because I've been busy. You have? Oh, my gosh, Vonnie. I have not even heard of it. So it has colors. Let's see. How do I get back to the compare, maybe? Where do I? Okay, let me go back. to. Let me start over from the start. Let me start completely over. How do I start over? Colors. Um, how do I start over? Oh my gosh. Where, where's the start over? Um, well, let me just clear it, clear it off. Cause I'm not sure why I can't, I'm not sure where to get back to the main page. Okay. Let's start over. It still goes back to the flower. Where on the app? Okay. We got image, image resolution. Oh, clear. Okay. Close export. Um, all right, let me just close it. Okay, yeah. No, I don't want to keep the image. No. Okay, so let me go back. All right, so here we're back to choose an image. So I'm going to choose an image out of my um, out of my camera. I just saved that picture for an example. Okay, so I saved this picture. It's back to the same thing. Where are the... Where are the... Uh, I can't find it. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Colors. Oh, here we go. Okay, I see it now. Okay, so here's right above the name of this color is Prisma Color. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, so here we go. Found it. Okay, so you can pick Faber Castell, Prisma Color, or your Luminance. You can pick any of these sets. Okay. Hi, Dorothy, Suze, anybody else I missed? Thank you for the birthday wishes. Okay, so I'm gonna pick Prisma Color. So there's Prismacolor. So now you got this little target thing. And wherever you move that target, look at the colors down there. Watch the colors. See how the colors are changing down there at the little square right there? Look, see? And what it's doing is telling you the Prismacolor color. Just a second, Kat, you I'll show that again. It's called Artsy. Artsy. Art? Arty. Arty. A-R-T-Y. And um, so like that's neon pink. We'll move it up the rows. It's henna. Let's move it up some more. It's black raspberry. Those are the Prismacolor names. 
moving it over, Crimson Lake, henna again, back up here is neon pink. And so those are the colors in the rows. So if you want to color something with your Prismacolor, there's all the names. Now, if I it, the, the word Prismacolor is right above the name of the color, and that's where you have to click to get back to your selection. So now if I want to go to Polychromos, the same thing, but it has Polychromos num names. So that's light purple pink, fuchsia, magenta, red violet, rose carmine, dark red. So wherever you move your little target on the rose, it changes the color down there and tells you the name. Isn't that cool? I know. And it's a free app. Free app. Now I have an iPhone and then you do it on the iPad. I'm not sure. I think Dev said it's also, or Sammy or somebody said it's also available on um, smartphones. So isn't that cool? Yeah. If they would add, add Copic, they said no due to the fact that he works for Apple. Oh, okay. So, so Copic, you can't do Apple. I mean, um, I don't get that. I don't understand why, Lisa. Hi, Judy. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Okay, now I'm looking back over it. So anyway, so let me let me find another picture. Okay, so let's see. Um, uh, let's go out to. Let me see if I can get out of this here. Um. Where's my little get out of this? Okay. Um, uh, 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 I want to get out. I want to exit. Let's see. See, I've only just done a couple. Image. Okay, close. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to pick another one. Not sure either what that meant. Yeah, okay. Let me choose a picture of like a face. Okay, let me go to my camera roll. Let me get one of the kids or something. Um Oh, wait, here, let's go with this picture. Nobody minds looking at him, do we? <laughs> so there's a picture of Sean Connery. Okay, so now I'm going to go to colors. Um, and it's on polychromos. We'll just stick with polychromos because that's what it's on. Okay, so the forehead up there is dark umber. But it's, I mean, it's like going to change constantly here because it has a face. But then what it does is it helps you, even if you don't use every single color, it helps you pick like that. This, his cheek color is cinnamon. Let's go up to his hair is cool gray, number four, warm gray, number five, up in his hair. Let's go down to his chin, warm gray, number uh, four on the chin in the hair, and then gold and cinnamon on the color of his skin. Venetian red. You see how it's working there? Isn't that cool? So you can find the colors that coordinate the best. Thank you, newbie. Um, thank you, Suze. Look for general areas and most common. Yeah, because you, you know, unless you're really going to do a full-on portrait, you're probably not going to use 20 colors, let's say on a color book page, right? You know. But this helps you to, um, you know, find colors in any photo. Just put the photo on there. Move your little target around. See all the colors changing down there? And it gives you the name. And right now I'm in Polychromos. We can click it. And then we can pick Polychromos, uh, Prismacolor, or Carndosh Luminance. Those are the selections that they have. So, yeah, that's cool. I didn't ever, I didn't know about that app. So I'm blaming Dev because that's where I saw it on his show. <laughs> the modernist colorist. Okay. So let's see. I guess we can go. Oh, Vonnie. I had to tell this because Vonnie is the one that I thought, and I thought, and it's, it is kind of the same, uh, Vonnie. But remember when we were talking about different, you know, primitive art, and we kept trying to think, I kept, could not remember the name of what we were talking about. Was it primitive art? Was it folk art? It was, and, and I was trying to think of Howard Finster as the example, outsider art. Outsider art was the word I was looking for and could not remember it on Friday. And it came to me like in the middle of the night, goes, you know, then, you know, I have my, po I wrote it down. I wrote it down. <laughs> I write it. I have post-it notes by the bed because I wake up in the middle of the night with ideas, and you know when I'm not trying to do 
when I'm not trying to do 25 things here at the same time, then I can think of, um, I can think of, hi, Vicki. I can think of, um, did he, your birthday gift should be, there. oh, thanks, Suze. I'm waiting. I am like holding my breath till Norma gets her fish. Um, so I mailed it Wednesday, Wednesday, and it, it was supposed to go out Wednesday night at the latest Thursday morning. So it went out Thursday morning and then it went to my local post office, I think on Friday. And then it just says it's in transit. Usually on tracking, it tells you city by city by city, step by step. It's not telling me that on the tracking. So hopefully it's just the weather situation. I don't know. What's the weather like, Norma, now? Is your weather snow? Are you snowed in, Norma? I mean, what's it like in Missouri, in, in Branson? Hi, Zeely. Yeah, it's called Arty, A-R-T-Y. And it's the app looks like this, at least on the on the iPhone here. Let me show you here. It looks like um, it looks like this. It's white with the purple. It's white with the purple thing in there. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. I please, Norma, tell me a minute. Because if it's not there today, I'm gonna be calling my post office and jumping on somebody just saying but how's your weather norma is the weather is is great okay see it can't be the weather i don't know we're gonna be we'll be on it though norma and i don't know if you saw norma i took all the stickers off that valentine box she sent me and i'm gonna make me a birthday page out of this in my one of my little uh in my one of my travelers hi julie okay guys so uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to shove this up for a minute, but we're going to do, these are pins that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Norma sent me a Hobby Lobby birthday um, gift card. And I bought, this is some of the stuff I bought with it. And then of course I want to, you know, I want to thank everybody, especially anybody that sent me any uh, PayPal or super chat, Norma, Mary, uh, Vonnie, Janet, Melody, Scooby, Terry Trouble, Annie V. Annie V. Annie V sent me, and I think she's I think she sent it to me last year too. A case of raisinets. Or in my world, it's my salad. <laughs> because you know, raisinets, you know, there, there's raisins, there's chocolate, which comes from leaves. It's a salad. Raisinets are officially a salad. Nor I mean, um uh Annie V sent me a case of a big case, this big of raisinets. Yes. A case of raisinets. I didn't bring it up here, guys. I've been running up and down so much. I just did it. It's in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. I try not to keep any food up here in the in the studio. Um, so <laughs> I know. Hi, Jean. So, um, but let me show you what uh Terry Trouble made me two different pencil cases. They are so cute. And just in case anybody gets out of hand today, where's Eileen? We're we're prepared. We have a can of this today. <laughs> Norma, I mean, uh, um, Terry Trouble sent me this. And well, here's the note. <laughs> so Terry Trouble uh, thought we might need this at some point. You know, when you get your trolls, you get your trolls. This this will be uh, what we pull out when we have trolls. We have a can of this now. <laughs> Uh, uh, how many boxes of what, Suze? How many boxes of what? I don't, I don't know. I missed your, I missed something there. Sue says, how many boxes? How many boxes of what? <laughs> but Terry made these and look at her little label. I did post the picture of the label on uh, Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you can see it. <laughs> yes, Terry. I know. So she look how nice. Look at these. Look at these seams and the the um, what do you call it? Uh, just the quality of this and the fabric. This one has this one has a handle on it. So and the insides are so nice. And look here. Look, little you know. Look look at that. How well made. And the inside is just as nice. So these nice pencil cases. I love them. 
they're just they're two different shapes this one's kind of more of a squatty a rectangle one this is more of a round one look at that guys isn't that so nice so i don't know if terry's got these i haven't gone to her etsy to see if she's got some for sale terry you got some on sale at etsy here's her etsy shop well, let's see I love them. They're just so they're 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 sturdy but flexible, you know. They're old labels. So are do you have things in your Etsy? Oh, where, did Ian say something? We have a can of worms. No, that's not a can of worms. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, a can of uh <laughs> Ian. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull this out anytime we have trolls. I'll say, Eileen, Eileen, trolls, get out your can. <laughs> Nothing in the shop right now, but I am for hire. Okay, so yeah, Terry, Terry Trouble, if y'all see her in chat there. If you want uh, like these pencil cases, then get with her. But look how cool they are. I mean, look at that. Look at the fabric. So vintagey. I love the vintageness of them. And, and of course, now, you know, we got more to put in them. Oh, thank you, Lisa Coloring Corner for the super chat. Thank you. Loretta, Loretta, get with Terry. Get with Terry. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Oh, so today I got some giveaways. Uh, I showed y'all this on Friday. I showed you these that I got at Hobby Lobby last week during one of their clearances. And they're the Art Crayon Marabou. And they're normally $14.99. They're water-soluble crayons. I do not need these. I did not I get I bought them specifically for giveaways because I have my Neo Color, Karen Dosh Neo Color water soluble crayons. But they're normally $14.99 for $2.99. So I had to get them for a giveaway. So glad someone gave you pins. <laughs> oh, we're going to go through pins today. It's a pen and ink and sketching practice. We're going to test the pins. It's going to be a pen testing day. Collect your pearls, Janet. Collect your pearls. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to give these away. I'm going to give them both away together because you got to have all those colors. You can't break them up. They're, they are they got to go together, right? So, you know, they can fit in an envelope. Um, if nothing else, I'll bend the, the, I'll bend the card back or something to put it in an envelope to make it better to ship in a whatever, you know, padded envelope. So anyway, I'm going to give away these today. The book giveaway will still be on Wednesday. Hi, Nick and Tina. Thank you. So the book giveaway will be on Wednesday still. Then I am also going to give away th these that um, uh, Zandra sent me to test. And I did do a test of them. They're not horrible, guys. But nothing is going to compare to Pan Pastels. I'm just saying. They're not, you know, and this is the card that came in and I did, I did put a little, um, it got some ink splots on there, but I did do a test. I'll, I will put this back in there. So here are all the colors and, and Zandra sent it to test, compare it. Hi pickle. Zandra sent it to me to test, compare it against pan pastels. Well, pan pastels are much more expensive. They're much more concentrated. You got, you know, so, oh, thank you, newbie Cheryl, for the super chat. Have a blessed birthday week. Thank you. Thank you so much. Once the plumber's here and, and replaces my hot water heater, it will be a great week. <laughs> if y'all saw the video, if y'all did not see the video, I'll show it again later. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give these away. Uh, I've only just, just barely tested them. A few, a couple of the colors, you know, the browns on a skin tone test. And then on Friday, was it Friday? We tested some purples and this little card came in it. So I'm going to give this away. Um, it was nice as Andrew to send it to me. to, And that's why she sent it. She sent it to me to test, right? So this, I don't think it fits in there. It just goes, it was just on the back. So I'm going to give this away today. And maybe some other stuff. We'll see. So that's uh, that's the plan. 
So let me go ahead and show you. Oh, thank you, Catherine, for the super chat. Happy birthday. You guys that are sending me super chats, don't forget to email me your address because I send out little thank you art things to everybody that super chats me or PayPal's me. And that's going to include everybody that sent me birthday um, birthday um, uh, PayPal's and stuff. But I have to wait till my printer's hooked back up, which, you know, hopefully that'll be in a couple days after we get, if you missed it at the beginning, I'll show it again. Our, our den, our, it didn't really flood. That's the thing. It didn't flood. Water just slowly creeped up under the carpet. So they tore out all the carpet. We got rid of the big desk. Oh, it's a mess, but it's not anything. It's not anything like earth shattering, right? We, we can all deal with stuff like that. Um, uh, Lisa, I'll put it in and, and the and the mods will put it in occasionally too. Here. There we go. There you go. They're putting it in. Um happy birthday. Yours is in March. Oh, okay, Crystal. Well, happy birthday a little early. Here's next month. Yeah. Um oh, thanks, guys. Thank y'all are so sweet, so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for the super chats and all the birthday wishes. Okay. So, hi, Mark. Super chat and not till Friday. Um, we're chill. <laughs> That's all right, Mark. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Nobody nobody ever feels like they have to do any super chats or anything. You're, I love all you guys. I seriously do. So, I got some awesome birthday cards. And again... Um, this is the one from Annie V. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank you for the 1999. Is that is that pe euros? Pound? What is that? Pounds? Thank you. Thank you so much, Louise. I appreciate it. Make sure y'all send me your, your addresses now. Okay? Thank you so much. Because I'm going to send uh, send you guys some thank you art. Oh, thanks. Great. So this was the uh, this was the birthday card from Annie V who sent me a case of raisinets. A case of raisinets for my birthday. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, Terry, for the uh, for putting in my email. And I just got some awesome birthday cards and Valentine cards from uh, this was one of the one from Norma. And these are like the stickers that were all over the Valentine box like this. And I'm putting them in my, um, I'm putting them all in here in my, uh, I'm going to make a birthday page here. This will be my birthday to myself, you know, birthday page journal thing. So that's going to go in there. And let's see, I got other birthday cards here. I'm probably not, I'm probably missing some. Norma sent me a nice birthday with nice notes. And of course her Branson, Branson, uh, Missouri postcard. And then Terry Trouble sent me this one. <clears throat> Look at this one. Look at that. Isn't that cool, guys? Oh, well, Ian, I'm glad at least you got a notification, <laughs> even if it's uh, 35, 40 minutes late. But y'all know, guys, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at the same time. I usually come on at 8.30. I officially start at 9.00. And, uh, and the occasional Friday. So um, I don't know. Lisa, make sure that you click the bell, turn it off, and turn it back on a couple times until it says get all notifications. And then sometimes I think it just might be the browsers. It might be, you know, who you use for your internet. I, I really can't say why, you know. But, but do make sure that the bell says get all notifications. Because if you don't, there's it, there's also the option of get occasional notification. So you want to make sure. Also, if you're watching the chat at the top of the chat, you'll see top chat and live chat. Make sure you click live chat so you get all the chat. The other thing is on the little setting wheel, make sure the setting wheel is set to 1080 or 720p if you want HD. Because sometimes YouTube will default back to a lower, uh, uh, is it DPI? Anyway, it clicks back to a lower uh, quality. So if you wanted to see it in HD, click the 1080 or the 720. So that was from Terry. So uh, thanks, everybody, for all the awesome ones. Here's the one from Scoobs. 
<laughs> Where are we headed? I don't know. I thought you were driving. <laughs> <laughs> so Scooby sent, uh, sent me uh, some some birthday money. And so thank you so much, Scoobs. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. Isn't that a great card? Okay. So I'm going to put the giveaways to the side for a minute. So what I, oh, and I also got, uh, let me keep my can handy. Y you never know when we might need that can. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and then this, all right. So last week, I don't know if, and I would not have bought this. I would not have bought this if I had known that uh, Terry was going to send me those. Oh, thank you, Journey. Thank you for all you share with us. Wonderful birthday wishes. Thanks so much, Journey, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Just pull my <laughs> So um, Jet Pins had these new, I think they were new. This is the first time I'd seen them had these new cases, new pencil cases. And I did not, um, I had a, I had a pink one and a yellow one. They also, it also comes in teal. The pink one I think sold out immediately. And the, I didn't want a teal one. So I ordered the yellow one. So what they are, they're little pencil cases that are like, look, how cute are these? Has a little pocket back in here. So they're just like little flat and they just sit there and stay open. So I just thought this would be awesome, an awesome one to keep by my um, nightstand. Because when I sketch, I have I have pencil cases all over the place. <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm going to keep this one by my nightstand just because, you know, it, you know, just because it's cute. And it has this little magnetic closure here, a little magnetic snap. But anyway, um, I think the pink, I don't know if the teal is still available, but uh, I wanted it in either pink or yellow. And it's it's like, it's not, it's a little bit uh, duller than a must, not quite mustard color, but it's so cute. Yeah. So you can get this at Jet Pins. The edging is all like a velour. This is all like a velour feel. And then this is canvas. And again, it's got the little pouch here. And it's perfect, you know, for like just sitting next to my bed. It's easy to open and get right into and see the few pencils that I keep by the bed. Pins, pencils. I keep a few things. And so this will be just perfect for a few things where I can just get right at it. Could put in a um, put in one of my post-it notes in there. See? Just kind of keep this as my little handy bedside thing, right? So there's that. Uh, but that was before I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have ordered it if I knew Terry was sending me these two awesome, awesome pencil cases. So, yeah, love them, love them, love them, Terry. I don't know. I'm afraid if Cam sees them, he may try to snatch one up. But anyway, all right. So now let's get on to some pencil testing. It is very chic. Um Oh, oh just, okay. I said, okay. I keep, see, I wrote down notes in the middle of the night of everything, like, like the outsider art. I couldn't remember last week what it was called. I was thinking primitive folk art. And when Vonnie said primitive, I went, yeah, that's it. But that, I, it wasn't the exact word I was looking for. I was looking for outsider art. So that came to me in the middle of the night. I wrote it down. That's why it's so messy. I grab, I'll grab a pen and a post it in the middle of the night. And, and, it, you know, I'm writing in the dark. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you these pins. This is what I bought. I bought these pins. They were all 40% off the sets. The um, uh, Hobby Lobby had 40% off sets uh, last week, and so uh, Norma had sent me a Hobby Lobby gift card. Hi, Lisa Scott. Yes, it's my birthday, and so I bought these three sets. Uh, like this set right here, the Pigma, these three here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test them. This is what I pulled out to test with. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to test with Alfonso's workbook. We're going to test out these pins. And if we don't have enough pins, we'll, we'll go test out these. <laughs> we can test out these pencils. 
um, what we'll be testing. We're going to be testing pins, but I want to specifically do these. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, so these are the Pigma, and I kept the packaging just long enough to show you guys. All this packaging is going in the, I need more pencil cases. <laughs> I don't know, me and Janet. <laughs> okay, so these are three. I'm going to give you all the specs on the packaging. I kept the packaging just to show you guys. These are the three Pigma, Sakura or Sakura, however you want to pronounce it, professional brush pins. It comes with a fine, a medium, and a bold, and I'm going to use them for like well, I use them for other things too, but these are the kind that you know can be used for brush lettering, you know. Or, or thicker line weight. And I do have a couple of these already. I think I have the FB. I think I have a set of the FB that I got from Jet Pins. But these were on sale. at the, This set was normally $13.99, but they're 40% off last week. Of course, at Hobby Lobby, there's a coupon every week. So if you just want to go buy a set, there's always a 40% off coupon. Uh, we're going to find out, Janet, because <laughs> I have one of these, and I don't remember if it's waterproof. We're, I'm going to test the waterproofness of them as well. So these are the Pigma, Sakura, and uh, the, there's the line weight right there. So if you all want to see that, um, there's the, there's the uh, ISB right there, okay? Uh, and, and they do put that they have a YouTube channel. <laughs> we got to love it. Got to love our tubies. Okay. So, um, yeah, FB, MB, and BB, which is the brush. Um, what are they calling it? Bold. The B, the bold brush. So those are the stuff. Thank you so much, Christine, for the super chat. Thank y'all. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you, guys. Y'all making my uh, flooded den birthday <laughs> much nicer. Those Sakura are 7 Eleven at Amazon. Okay, so uh, Vonnie said these are on Amazon for $7.11 for the set. Is for the set? For the set, Vonnie? Um, but 40% uh, off of 13 nights. So 14, so that's half that seven. So they're about uh, six bucks, I guess. Six bucks at Hobby Lobby is what I paid for them in it, uh, with their 40% off. Okay, next. Ma these are the Faber Castell. And these are, uh, I love the, um, the colors too. And I've bought the colors many, many times over. And I always give them to Cameron. Because I love these, I love the Faber Castell brush pins and different pins, but the only ones I ever really use are the black ones. So they come in lots of colors. I think Dev on his last stream, excuse me, on his last stream showed that you can get a box of all the colors. Um, and uh, so if you and, and you can look on Amazon too. They come in all kinds of colors. I've bought them many times where like a set of three, they're quite expensive. Um, Hobby Lobby last year had them for a few couple of dollars, like three dollars for three. Normally, I don't know, nineteen ninety nine or something. So I bought a lot of sets of them, and Cam likes these. He he likes to sketch with these. So I gave him all the colors. But I love the black ones. I love the black ones, and I'm pretty sure these are waterproof, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, thank you. I will. I'm going to um, Super Bowl weekend was this weekend. So I did not go anywhere. Of course, with all the flooded den, I say flooded. It's not like puddles it's wet den with no carpet. Now the carpet's ripped up. Um, we weren't with all those fans going. We weren't going to go anywhere anyway, even if it wasn't Super Bowl weekend. But I'm going to go up and uh, see Denise and the kids next weekend. And I'm going to do some shopping up there. I might go. I don't know if we'll make it to the High Museum next weekend. So next weekend, I do plan on doing some shopping and stuff like that. So hopefully next Monday, we'll have some more haul things to show. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. So anyway, uh, we have all seen these and used these before. They're calling this set the modern lettering uh, because everybody's, you know, doing brush lettering now. So they have, uh, let me see what they have in here. I can just read it off the pen. Okay. It says India ink, archival, waterproof, permanent, light, fast, and odorless. So these are awesome if you want to do any kind of um, 
Yeah, it says waterproof here. Now, sometimes when something says waterproof, you really got to hit it with the heat gun or wait a little bit for it to set because you can still maybe smear it when it's not completely 100% dry. So anyway, these are the Faber-Castell and it comes with the SC, which is the uh, uh, small, I think it's small calligraphy is what the SC is. This is a, like a little calligraphy one, I think, yeah. Then it has the um, 1.5 tiny brush. We're going to play with all these. And then it has the SB, which is the, I think it's called small brush. It's a longer, it's a longer point to it. Um, yeah, Meep. Oh, I have duffel bags, Meep. You didn't know I had a duffel bag over here with pens? <laughs> Uh, and then uh, the brush, just the regular brush pen. So if you look at the S SB one, look how much longer the tip is on that one. Can you all tell right there? It's thinner. Okay, so those are the Faber-Castell ones, which you can buy these in other kinds of sets. And I think you can get them individually. So don't be thrown off by where it says modern lettering. You can buy these pens outside of a, a modern lettering set. Okay. All right. Next are these La pens. These are Marvy Uchida pens. I don't think I've ever tried these uh, unless they've redesigned them and put them in white. And I, I think I have some La pens, but I don't have the La pen drawing pens as far as I know. Yeah, there's pens I don't have. <laughs> it's a shocker, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, hi Marie, Catherine, oh, yes, I kind of Deb. Anybody else I miss? Thanks, everybody. I know. Are you shocked? Are you shocked, Lisa? There's pins I don't have. <laughs> okay, so I guess I could kind of zoom in. Let me let me just click in one here. I could have I could have been in a little bit more close here. Let's, let's uh, there we go. Uh, kind of, yeah, great. Okay, so these are the pen drawing, technical drawing pens, and they have all kinds of tips. If y'all remember, and I still, let me, I'm going to show them to you. Let's see. I have a couple still left. I never use them, but of course they're like sentimental from my, from the 80s. These are from my um, cross-stitch days. <laughs> Uh, and I have other ones too. I have the, uh, th this one's a Stedler. Um, there's a, one that's called a Pideograph with the white barrel. I don't know where my white barrel ones are, but they're all essentially the same. Uh, the Stedler and the, and the um, uh, Pideograph. But what they are is these pins do not have like tips on them. Like these kind of pens have tips. Let me find, I don't know which one's the smallest one. Let's see. Here, let me look at the side. Oh, let me get a tiny one. Yeah, here's a 003. These right here have little black, there's little black tips on them, right? These aren't tips. These are, these are barrels. These are holes. This is like a barrel of ink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so these are these ones are I'm not sure if these are exactly the ones from the 80s I think they are my rapidiograph ones are definitely from the 80s but uh so we are so lucky if you want to say lucky um oh thank you Susie for the birthday hugs oh Emma oh wait let me see here hang on let me see let me go back to my um I got a uh, little Emma's birthday card let me go over here to my um I think I have it here. Let me go to my, yeah. So little Emma, Susie's, uh, is it your daughter or granddaughter? I can't remember, Emma. Sent me this uh, birthday card. So she's, she emailed me this birthday card. Thank you, Emma. Thank you so much for my birthday card. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, thanks, Nana. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jerry. I know. Isn't that precious? I know. I know. Hi, Marie. Thank you so much. 
So anyway, the law pins. Let me just get a piece of cardstock here. I'm, I have I have my cardstock here. Then I have my giant bristol. Here's a big piece of bristol, and then I have the full poster bristol here too. So I got lots of um, options. Oh, I'll just use this big piece of bristol here. So uh, and we'll test and see what's uh, what is. Uh, let me move all the packaging. Waterproof and what is not. Hi, Crafty Kitty. Yes, today's my birthday. Did, did you get the email with video? Uh, I didn't get a video, Susie. I didn't see a video. I just got that. I just got that picture. But I can go back and look at it later because that's just on my. No, I just had that on my phone. Okay. So thank you, Emma. All right. So let's put them in order of smallness. I think. Okay. Here's the zero. Zero point five. There's the brush. I'm not sure if I'm getting them exactly in order. There's the one, the three, the five, the eight, and the brush. Okay, I think I got them in order of size. So uh, again, these. Oh, I didn't tell you all the price of this set. This set right here is normally fourteen ninety nine at Hobby Lobby, but forty percent off. So again, this one was also on sale. Oh, thank you, Jane. Thanks for coming out of lurk mode to tell me happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> so this uh, this Faber-Castell, what they're calling modern lettering pit artist pins, was uh, at Hobby Lobby uh, all week last week. All their sets were 40% off. This one is normally $14.99 as well, and it came with eight pins. Okay, eight pins. What am I hooked up on here? Something about okay. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna test these out. I think we'll go ahead and zoom in even a little more. And what I want let me get that glare over here. Uh, what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna uh, do some draw some things out of the drawing work workshop. Now I'm not gonna use the book, I'll just do it on paper. And I'm just gonna pick some random things to do out of here, like some of the different kind of lines, scribbling, flowy lines, some of the basic lines, um, hatching, stippling. So yeah, there's some cross hatching there, basic strokes. So maybe we'll just stay on this basic stroke page here, something like that. Because he gives you he gives you places to uh, do you know do do the exercises right and this is alfonso dunn uh if you've not seen he's got a youtube channel so yeah follow alfonso dunn so we'll probably do some different kinds of pen testing out of this all right so first though i just want to well, let's go ahead and use one all right let's just do some actual just some cross hatching all right, so we're going to start with the um, 0 0.03. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. I'm going to try not to have any. Uh, let's see, I need to, I need a uh, clamp here to keep this open. Hang on. This one may be enough. So I'm just going to clamp the book open so we can see. Well, that's probably good enough. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thanks, Terry, putting a link to the book. Okay, so let's start with uh, 0 0.03. And I'm just going to do some little cross hatching. This is just a piece of Bristol, um, probably about uh, 11 by uh, 14 by, uh, I'm not sure. I cut a big sheet in half. <laughs> it's just a play on here. All right, so... Um, you know what Janet would, I'll tell you what Janet would be doing. I'll show you what Janet would be doing. Janet would be using one of these. <laughs> Janet would have us do little templates. Uh, although I can't hardly see the edge of my paper here because white paper on white paper on white paper. So let's go ahead and I will use, I'll just use this size here. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to make some, I'm going to just make some squares. And this is the smallest pin, so it's very tiny um, line weight. Okay, let's see. Why is that? It feels kind of rattly. Is that supposed to? Yeah, I guess that is. I can feel the barrel moving inside. 
That's I've never really felt that before in a pen. Okay, so there's five. Let's go over here. Let's do a couple. Six. I think I said there was eight. Okay. All right. So you won't really be able to see those. Maybe I should do those darker so you can see them. Okay, let me go with the bigger, not the brush. I'm going to go with the thicker one, guys, so that you can see. I, I keep forgetting you can't see things on camera sometimes. Okay, so we're going to go with the thick, just for the outline. Okay, let's get this over here. Getting camera here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get my camera situated so that we're in there. Okay, I think I said that there's eight. How long do you stream? Usually about three hours, Lisa. Usually about three hours. Usually Janet comes on at one. I try to get up. I try to get done by twelve, uh, and then Janet comes on at twelve. I don't know if Jean is streaming today at four. So yeah, okay. So I'm gonna this one. I just drew that with the um, point eight. So I'm gonna let's go ahead and just use that one. Uh, that'll be the thickest one. Other than the brush, there's a brush one, so we won't use. Let's do the brush one. All right, so here's the eight. So we'll do point. Let's see, point eight. Yeah, it's zero point eight. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping in as long as you can. Yeah. Well, everybody comes and goes as I can. Hi, shy. And Jean says she's planning on streaming at four. What are you going to do today, Jean? Do you know yet? Okay, so I'm going to do some cross hatching here while we're. I'm just going to do some. Um, let's just do some little. Um, uh, let's do these like little, kind of like little rows of squares there. I'm going to layer it up. Thank you. Thanks so much. You don't have any. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do like three rows here. So I'm going to just. All right, so like here's the first row. Second row. I'm just going to do a little test here with the pins. Okay, little rows, little rows there. And then we go back over it. And we're going to go this way. So we have an initial uh, base of, of uh, ink down. And then if you want it darker, and what we're going to do is go the other way, but we're not going to go all the way to the end. We're just going to start thinning it out. And he just did three little rows. I'm just kind of going with one of the little ideas he had there. See? So that's with the eight. Now we can even get it darker. We can go back over this first one again, up and down. I'm doing all three rows the same. can get it as dark as you can go as dark as you want you know get it real dark and then just kind of cross hatch it out and all I'm doing over here is first I did just straight let me do it bigger okay then I just did this way then this way and then up and down and then depending on how far out you go or how thick you go over and over an area, we'll get it darker and darker. Transfers on, oh, you're gonna do transfer to your jelly butt. Oh, okay, that will be great. Yeah, you're gonna, I, I try, can you try to do something? Well, I'm not gonna tell you to try to do something like Norma did, but I love those uh, way that Norma did those transfers. Is that kind of what you're gonna do, Gene? Transfers like that, magazine image transfers. Hi, hi, Noodle. Anybody else I missed coming in? Okay, so that's the point oh eight. Okay, I'm going to do the brush one down here last. 
That's the B. Okay. So I'm going to go backwards here. Which one is this? Let's see. Uh, this is the thinnest. Okay. So now I'm going to do point zero point five. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. But let's see. Maybe I'll zoom in one more. I don't want us to get too. Um, I don't want it to get too pixelated or anything. So I think that's probably pretty good right there. Nice and bright. That's pretty good. Hi, Malibu. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to do three rows. And just the more you use your pens and do different things, Okay, baby. Okay, you're gonna have to stay over here. You're gonna have to stay over here. You're putting a shadow on my no, no, we can't have okay. I gotta put her down. Alrighty. She's trying to get on my uh trying to get on my lamp there. Magazine. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so now there's a shadow. Uh, okay, I'll try to hold the pen back so it's not a shadow. Yeah, she is throwing, Mally is throwing shade, Terry. All right, so now I'm going to go this way. Doing them all three rows exactly the same. Well, as, as close as I can. I'm going to go the other way. And I'm going to go up and down. And just the thicker the line, not the thick thickness of this, but how many strokes you put on it to make the lines thicker. You'll just get it darker and darker and darker. Okay, now I can do it again this way. And you just kind of let it, you know, less and less lines toward the end. And then you can get all the way to black. Let's just put, make it really dark and then just kind of less and less lines. So that's how you get light to dark. Yes, it's play with the pen time. Okay, so now I'm going to do one over here. And we're going to do some different kinds of pen strokes uh, in a little bit. I just want to get, right now I'm really testing just the pens. So I don't know if you can tell that, let me just do a line here on each one. And let me just show you the difference between the 08 and the, and the 5. There's the difference between the eight and the five. Pencil. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the eight. Okay. So there's the five and the eight. And we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun a little bit. Try to put some water over it with the brush. You know, water brush. Let me get all my water brush. One of these has got water in it. That one's kind of fat. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll test that out in a little bit. Okay. All right, now we're going, so that was the 05 and the 08. And where's the brush? We're going to save the brush for last. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Did not, yeah, Tammy, yeah. This book right here, pen and ink drawing workbook. Now he's got the book. He's actually got a book, and then this is the workbook. But in the workbook, he's got all the different little. See, we're kind of doing something like this one right here. Three rows, three rows, just getting it darker and darker. 
kind of like, well, kind of like between the, well, this one's got three rows, so we'll stick with that. And then he's got places for you to actually do it in the book, but, you know, you might as well just do it, draw your own little squares and do it on whatever kind of paper. That way you can test it on all different kind of paper. Okay, next is going backwards to the point zero, whoops, going backwards, 0 0.1. And then this line is that much thinner. I'm keeping camera. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure you all put it in caps because I do have to kind of look at this every now and then. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my hand back as far as I can. So again, these are the La Pens. Um, comes in the set like this at Hobby Lobby, Marvy Uchida. Anything Marvy Uchida is probably pretty good. My heat gun is a Marvy Uchida, and it's almost 20 years old. <laughs> Not saying these pins are going to last that long, but, you know. <laughs> Marvy Uchida has always been good. Okay. Just do a little test here, something that we can wash over here in a minute. And so you can see how much lighter and thinner that is. Okay, I'm going to go this way. You can get your lines so much closer together when that's uh, down to a 0 0.1. And these pins come, in, you know, Faber-Castell, different ones make different, you know, sizes. Uh, I mean, different... Uh, they're called technical pens. Most of them are disposable. Yeah, very cool pens. Okay, now I'm going to go up and down. Now you have to do more lines when they're thinner. You know. And then I'm going to do even darker still. I'll try to get it black at the edge. And then just kind of, depending on the spacing, the spacing that you do, you get them, you know, you get a whole bunch of them real close together. Then it's darker. You see that? So let's go over here and do it here, big. And so now if you want darker, you're going to have to get some thin, you're going to have to get it closer together because it's a thin, you know, point 0.1. Let me hold this up here. Okay. All right. Going up to the next one. Okay, this is going to be... Oh, let's get, I'm trying to get them in order. Okay. Is that a point one or point two? Okay, I think that one should have been up here, but we're going to keep rolling here. Because here's a one point. So this is the, th I think this is the thickest one next to the brush. So this is a one point. Okay. Then we've got the, see, I think this should have been moved up one, but that's okay. 0 0.3. Well, those could have been moved down either way. Okay, then this one is um, 
zero, zero. So this is probably the smallest one, I think. Zero, no, zero, zero, three. Okay. Okay. All right. And then this one we're going to do with the brush. Where's the brush? This is the brush. We'll still with the tour. Okay, I'm going to try to do this kind of fast so we're not stuck on one thing. All right, let's go back up here to the one. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. Let me try to move my light over this way. Eh, that's not really helping. I'm trying to move my, uh, lamp, my, little, my new little lamp here a little closer. So trying to not cast a shadow. Okay. I want to show different kinds of pens, and we're going to test them for waterproofness. I'm not going to do this with every pen set I have, uh, at least not the exact same thing. We'll do different, <laughs> do different things to test. How will you mostly use the pen? Oh, I I draw with them. I draw, I, you know, I draw with ink. I draw a lot with uh, even just uh, well, they're called Biro Bix, you know. Uh, sketching, drawing, inking. I, I use them all the time. I use pens. Now, I don't do a lot as, me, as much pen and ink drawings as I do in, in to, you know, the month of October. But, I, you know, I did that big uh, poster, the lionfish, which hopefully will get to Norma today. This is so much easier in pencil. Not, But it doesn't look the same. <laughs> pencil... It, uh, it doesn't look the same as ink, Norma. I mean, uh, Vani. I, I like the way ink looks. And, and if you've ever done any Danny Gregory books, he encourages you to try to sketch in pen without pencil first. And I've done that too. It's so much, um, <laughs> it's so much fun because you can't erase, your, you concentrate more. You're going to concentrate more on your um, what you're doing, on your uh, what, looking. You know, you're going to look more carefully when you know you're just going to draw in pen. Okay, so now let's get this real dark over here. Still can't draw in ink. Can't do the math in pen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, everybody likes different things, you know, but it just challenge yourself sometimes. Okay, let's see. Now I need my point three. There we go. Oh, wait, I didn't do a uh, box over here with the uh, one. Here. Let's do a box here. If y'all want to see, again, the Danny Gregory uh, books, let me know. I'll show those after a while. All right, what are you into? One of my cats is into something. Okay, she's just exploring there. Okay. <laughs> my challenge every day is... <laughs> oh, Vonnie. Vonnie. We love you, Vonnie. Okay, so here is point three. See how they're all different? Okay. So now, whether these are going to be waterproof or not, I don't know. But, you know, if you, it doesn't have to be waterproof if you're not going to add any water medium to it. Bye, Lisa. We will we will check out your channel. I think I think I already subbed to you. I think. Everybody can follow anybody by going to the three dots at the end of your name, and um, it'll say go to channel. 
and you can go to the channels and uh, it, it should just open a new window and not take you away from here. Okay, so I'm gonna go the other way. As soon as I do this pin set, we're gonna do a giveaway. My mods, I don't want my mods to get sleepy because they got a herd cats. <laughs> Okay, so there's the initial color, you know, coloring down, and then now I'm going to go straight up and down and get it a little darker. And then I'm going to get it black at the end there and just kind of. And you can see when you're when you're doing it, how if you need to do more cross hatching this way, this way. You can see all every stroke in the pen when it's close. Yeah, I had cake. Hubster actually, oh, let me show you. Let me show you the cake. He bought, he, and I'm not a cake eater, but, you know, he wanted to sing happy birthday to me, so, yeah. Um, so I let him. <laughs> Let's see, where's the cake? Where is it? Um, I've already done a little video. Maybe I just sent it. Oh, you know what? It's on his phone. We used his phone to take a picture of the cake. So I don't have a picture of the cake on my phone. It's on his phone. Thank you, Suze. Suzette, Suzanne. Thank you. Hi, Madonna. Catherine. I don't see anybody else. Dragon. Okay. All right. So there's that one. The next one is, I got two tiny ones here. Um. Okay, so here's the five. These are going to be the two very tiny ones. Okay. I do have this one book I'll try to pull as an old book. It's an older ink book. And the artist did the same picture. I think it was a Robin Hood. He did a Robin Hood picture like 20 different times, 20 different ways with different types of strokes. Thank you, Holly D. Okay, okay, for more. Oh, <laughs> crafty kitty. Hi, Beth. Call Hobster having to. Yeah, he's got he's doing interviews today. So he he can't. I don't want to interrupt. I don't like to, I don't like to bother him. I mean, I could text him if it was, like, if the plumber showed up early, I'd be texting him. But I'm not going to text him over a picture. He's going to be home early today for lunch because the plumber's coming. If y'all missed the video, <laughs> um, our den, our den got, and I don't want to say flooded, but, you know, the water, the water heater leaked into the den. So the carpet's all up, giant fans going. Replace all that. I had the, the hardest thing though, guys, was getting that big, huge desk out of there. That desk weighs a ton, and Hubster and I were dragging it. We had to take it all apart, and it's like a it's an L shaped desk. So the corner is like it's all screwed together at the L, right? It's like it's like this. Um, if you're looking down at the desk, whoops. If you're, I guess I could use one of the bigger. Let's use one of the thicker. Um, <laughs> so when you're looking down at the desk like this, like here's the corner of the room, right? That's the corner of the room. So you're looking down and it's an L-shaped desk. Well, when you, when you unscrew the screws right in here underneath, and he was underneath, I was, <laughs> I was holding the desk like, here's me. And I'm holding the desk like this up. So that he could be laying underneath, unscrewing these screws. And he was laying, he was laying down underneath me like this. So he was laying down <laughs> underneath me, unscrewing these screws. And I'm trying to hold up the desk on the corners because nothing's supporting that corner. You know, the back is holding, this is all held up by other, other supports. But there's no support in the corner. So he unscrewed it all. I'm holding up the desk. He climbs back under. <laughs> it was, oh my gosh. And it's so heavy. 
it's so it's and then we took down all it has all these shelves above it you know we took down all those shelves and this is where the computer the printer the tower the 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 dvds and the dvr and the cable bar everything is on this desk so not only are we trying to move this desk as we're moving it i'm trying to get all the cords from behind moving the cords this one had a big hole in the back of the desk so i had to the plug had to go through this hole and i'm trying to set the monitor the big set it, and that's a 24 inch monitor big 24 inch monitor i'm moving that behind the desk sitting that on the floor moving the tower so as we're moving the desk we're moving all the electronics because i did not want to lose my internet or my cable on super bowl weekend <laughs> otherwise i would not be here today i would not be here this morning so anyway it was it's a mess uh, yeah, it was a big production. Here, let, I'll show you all the picture. I'll show you all the little video again real quick. So this is the video I took for Denise. And I did want to draw today, too. I think I want to draw either maybe some feathers. Feathers are good. Um, let me show you. the. This is the. I took this video to send to Denise. Now, all the noise you're going to hear are those big industrial fans. They had already ripped out my carpet. All my carpets ripped out except where the desk was because we had to do all this ourselves, right? We had to get rid of all this. So, um, and it's, it was huge, guys. It was a big deal. Okay, so all the noise you're gonna hear is, um, no, Barbara, I'm not gonna even allow that. I know what you're saying, but I'm not gonna let that, that, uh, that stand. Okay, so here is uh, the loud video. Um, Hubster's over here vacuuming in the corner here. So this big L shape right here, this is that desk. That desk went all the way up to here, way, way up here. That desk, it was as wide as this. And again, wide as this wall. This wall is as wide as this right here. Okay. So it's a huge desk. So we remove that desk and then Here's all these cords here. These are not cracks in the cement. These are all cords to these huge industrial fans. And, okay, great. So here's the state of the things, Denise. We got all the furniture. We got the desk moved out. All the carpets up. We got all these fans going. Got the computer and everything sitting on the floor. And we're going to put the coffee table there and hold that for now. So we got all that desk out. And here we go into the bathroom. They're replacing the tile in the bathroom, too. Now we're out in the garage. Took it all apart. We're just going to get rid of it. And then over around here, this is where the hot water heater is leaking. And we have a bowl and a towel, which I need to swap out. So they cut out all the drywall. Yeah, so there we go. That's the situation. <laughs> that's what I'm living with downstairs. That's the den, though. That's really talking into putting in hardwood, not like real hardwood, not like oak or, you know, laminate. I can talk them into putting laminate down there. I'm going to do that. Laminate hardwood floors instead of carpet. That's all right. Yeah, thanks, Odonna. Okay, I see you, baby girl. You're going to have to lay down over here. Come on. Don't mess with my lamp here. Just let, just sit right here. Sit right there while I do this last one, okay? Let's do this last one. Let's see if I can chew, um, chew gum and walk at the same time. Let's do strokes. Let's see, I'm sitting here petting her. Let's see if I can pet her one way. And <laughs> All right, so let's do this last one. I want to show you that ink, that other book, though, too. Oh, I didn't finish 05. Look, I didn't finish 05. <laughs> okay, let's finish 3, and then I'm going to go back to 5. She wants to sit. Look, guys, she's. Look. There she is, right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's 
I'll be petting you. I'll try to pet you while I do this. Am I on the right one? Or three? Yeah. You know, guys, let me do this real quick and then I'll look at chat again. Got a little tail right here. <laughs> okay, another cross hatchway. Okay. I know she is, isn't she, Donna? You, you can't have her, can you? <laughs> uh, she's pretty good. They, I, I you know, um, they, it's so cute when I, because they only go outside on their harnesses, right? Let me find the 05. And so when, it's so cute when we're going to take them outside and we get their harnesses. And um, I've shown you all pictures of them on their harness. But what they do is it slips over their head and it's like a chest piece, right? So it's it's comfortable underneath their body. And then the top, oh, thank you, Lisa Welch, for the $14.99 super chat. Thank you so much. Please send me your address. And I know a lot of you I'm saying send me your address. I probably already have it. But send it to me again because it just makes it so easy for me to find you and send you out a thank you art card or something. Um, thank you so much, Lisa. So, um, and then the har the harness is real cushy underneath on their chest and on their back, it has the leash, right? Well, when you put it over their head and then they have, to, you have to put their little paws in each of the little armholes. Well, once that thing goes over their head, their hands start doing this. They start like trying, they, they're trying, literally both of them on both arms. They're trying to hurry up and get their hands inside the harness. They're so used to it now. So it's really easy. A hubster will hold one and I'll slip the harness on and then they start lifting up their paws. They want to stick their little paws in the harness so that they can hurry up and go outside. It's just adorbs. It is. So they are getting a little trained in that, you know. Uh, I just have to keep them away from my uh, cords here when I'm streaming. Okay, so we're going to test this in a minute, and then we're going to do a giveaway. <laughs> I know, isn't it cute? They're, they're just so, we love them so much. We love them. We've always been cat people, and we, you know, we've had many cats. We've, you know, we've rescued them. We've taken in strays. I've adopted all kinds of Siamese, usually sick ones. Oh, thank you, Debbie, for the $10 super chat. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for all the nice birthdays. Thank you so much. Very, very sweet. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, we give back enough here to make it to make you keep coming back and watch because I love streaming for you guys. All right. So here we go. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead. And, oh, wait, I didn't do. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't do squares. Is this the right one? This is the wrong one. This is five. Takes a little longer with the thin ones, right? Let's do these real quick. <clears throat> Should record a video on putting the harness. I guess, yeah, you're right. I should do a video. With them, uh, well, here's a part. Well, I don't know how I do that because nope, there's nobody to hold the phone. Because Hubster's holding the cat, I'm ha harnessing the cat. I guess I could set the phone down and just record. You know, I can't hold the phone and put the harness on at the same time. Okay, that's the three. And let's go back to the zero zero three. That's five. The brush. Here we go. Let's do this last one. Mm. 
This one's as tiny, so it's taking even longer. Okay. Can you explain why two squares? Um, this is like three rows. This is three, like three thin rows, and this is just one big square. So here's doing three rows and then doing one big square. Um, yeah, so then the brush, now you don't really cross hatch. Well, I guess if you were doing something kind of large, we'll see what we can do here. All right. I'm going to try to do it thin here. You know, don't I don't usually do much cross hatching with a brush. I would use a I would just use a thicker, you know, like the 08 or you know, the something bigger. But you know, it, it gives different effects. Try and do it thin. Okay, that's the brush. Okay. All right, so now let's back out just a little. Oh, well, that's a little too far. Let's zoom back in just a little. Somewhere around there, because I want to do some water. Um, um, I like any kind of pen. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I like. I'm. Uh, I, I love. <laughs> I love every pen, unless it's not working. If it's a pen not working, uh, or you know, I don't use Rapidio graphs anymore. Those are a pain to clean and keep clean. And anyway, so these are the little pen. These are the ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're normally $14.99 for all these pens. I don't know how long they last. I've never had this set before, but they're 40% off. Okay, they're 40%. Now, let me hit this with the heat gun. They're gonna hit, we're gonna see if these are waterproof. I don't know if it says. It says quick drying, pigmented ink. It doesn't say that it says smudge resistant, doesn't have anything to do. It works great with alcohol markers. Well, I don't know what that means because an alcohol marker usually can, unless it's an alcohol-based marker, can move the pigment. But let's let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's try this. Um, I didn't. I didn't get a camera on my big computer. I have a, a built-in camera on laptop. Because by the time we got that last, uh, you know, last desktop, I was doing all my streaming on laptops with a webcam. So even if I did use the camera, I mean, even if I did use the desktop, I'd still be using a webcam. I didn't have any need. I don't have any need for a, a built-in uh, camera. It, my my laptop came with one. My desktop, I didn't add it add it as a feature because I don't ever we don't do anything on that cam on that computer as far as a webcam. You know, I'll just use my webcams. You know, so yeah, I don't need it. Uh, it means it should be permanent. Be permanent with alcohol. Well, yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, Gene. Um, let me get this straightened out here. And then if I want to FaceTime or anything like that with anybody, I just use my phone. It's just it's not necessary if you're streaming off of a webcam to have a built-in. I don't know. Okay, so let's see here. Let's test this, and then we're going to do a giveaway. Just going to try water at first, okay? And again, these are the Le Pen Drawing Pens by Marvi Uchida, Okay. Set the cats on the laptop. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Let's do uh, let's do this here. Okay, it, it's let me get this going. Make sure my brush is clean. Okay, it, it is smearing a little. You can see that it's not like pure black movement. Let's get a um, let me get a let me get an alcohol marker. Let me just, you know, got a, here's one of, well, let's go with a Copic because I don't want that an off brand. Let's just go with a, a, a Copic uh, gray or something because I, I never did find my, a blending one. <laughs> okay, so let's go with, um, this is just a gray and it does not move. Look, 
It does not move with the alcohol marker. I got the lightest gray, so it's a little bit of gray because that's from the actual color of the marker. I got the WO. This is like a real light, light gray, almost, almost translucent. It did not move the ink with the alcohol. It moved it a little with the water. Let's try it over the brush here. Yeah, look. So if you want to use these as a base before you use Copics, yeah, baby. Okay, so this, let me write these down here. Copics don't make it bleed. Water drags a little. Oh, so that's good to know. Need more coffee? Yeah, my coffee's sitting here ice cold, Galena. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Okay. Little test here. What, Jean? What's the f for? <laughs> What's that for, Jean? Name there so you don't know which. Oh, yeah, I guess I should put the name of the set. <laughs> I didn't put the name of the set. Yeah. Um, I should do that, shouldn't I? These are the Le Pen drawing. Because I'll, I'll cut this out and keep it. This is on a big sheet of paper. I'll just cut this out, Jean. Okay, so there's the Le Pen drawing set. Oh, that was Vonnie. Oh, Vonnie's footing. Oh, why are you footing? <laughs> oh, thank you, Crystal. Stay for a minute, Crystal. We're going to do a giveaway. Okay, so that came in this box. And again, I do not keep the packaging. I kept it long enough to show you what it came like from Hobby Lobby. And again, they were $14.99 regular price, but all pin sets at Hobby Lobby were on sale for 40% off. So I got that. I got this whole set here. Eight. Eight pieces, eight pins for, for um, let's see, eight dollars, half, eight, four, five, about five bucks. No, five bucks? No, is that, no. Half of, of this would have been uh, seven, four, 15, 750, six bucks? Anyway, something like six bucks. <laughs> so there's those. All right. Next, we are going to do a giveaway. I am going to give away. These two, let me get my camera a little crooked there. There we go. I'm going to give away these two. Um, I got these on Hobby Lobby on clearance. They're mixed media, marabou, art crayons, water-soluble crayon. And again, I bought these specifically for giveaway because I have my Neo Color 2 Car and Dosh water-soluble crayons. And so I don't need any new water-soluble crayons. That being said, I bought them to give away because they're normally $14.99 each. They were clearanced out at $2.99. $2.99. Oh, uh, you eat too many raisinettes? Did y'all see where I told y'all Annie V sent me a case of raisinettes? A case of raisinettes. <laughs> I know that's a heck of a deal, right, Terry? So I bought them for giveaways, okay? So, um, yeah. Let me get some post notes. So the mods are going to be herding cats. Oh, I, I go, where's my, where's my post-it note? Uh, I put it in that little case. I put it in here to show you this case. Here comes the cats. Okay, this one's Oliver. There's Oliver. Let me get my post-it notes back out. <laughs> okay, Oliver is the one that loves to go over by the cord. So you're going to have to get down for a minute. I see you brought me a little mouse. <sighs> no, baby. Uh, you're going to have to, if you want to stay up here, I'm going to stay over here, okay? All right, so let's uh, get the big, uh, let me get the big pin here. Let me get the biggest one here, eight. Okay, baby, come on. No, just try to knock over the lamp. Okay, so here's how it works. Okay, all right, let's get down. You're going to have to go out. <sighs> Too much at once. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, when you see me, when you see me type in go, we have almost 200 people here. So when you see me, don't put any numbers in yet, please. 
do not put any numbers until you see me type in go. And then put in a number between 1 and 200. Then I will do a random.org. Yeah, no numbers yet. I'm going to get up. Let me get random.org here. Let's get that up. Okay. I got the nicest e-card from Lady Jan. It was so nice. Okay, so here I'm going to put change this to 200. I'm not going to generate yet, so I'm just going to set this aside for a minute. So you'll put in a number between one. Don't put any numbers in yet. Wait till you see me type in go. Okay, so then the, whatever number is generated by random.org, the first person closest, the first person closest without going over. First person without going over. I'm going to send these, the, these to you. Okay, and I'll give you plenty of time, but don't dilly dally. Oh, and one number only, one number only. Do not put in multiples. If you're the first person that puts in a number, then you're the first person that puts in that number. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> uh, okay. So give y'all a couple minutes. Do it, you know, get it in there fast. One number only, guys. One number only. You can be disqualified if my mods get out their can of, they could get out this can if you put in more than one number. <laughs> and then I'll, um, yeah, I'll probably have to bend the, packaging in half so I can get it in an envelope to mail to you. <laughs> you like that magic? <laughs> and then we will go, we'll test some more pins and I have another giveaway. So we're, <laughs> those cats are just running. And it's so funny too, guys, the cats are not afraid of those big fans at all. All that noise that those big fans make, they are not yeah, you knew I'd use that can. They're not afraid of all that noise. It's they're loud. If you could hear, you know, on that video, those fans are loud. <laughs> ah, I know, Terry, right? And uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, get your numbers in, guys, because I'm going to put, type in stop in just a minute, and then there's no more numbers count after I type in stop. No more numbers count. Get them in now. Get them in, get them in, people. Get them in. <laughs> so this is my birthday giveaway day. <laughs> so I'm doing some giveaways for my birthday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to count down. Get it in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay. No more numbers. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to generate a number. Wait for it. Wait for it. Generate. 154. The person closest to 154 without going over. Without going over. 154. 154. So don't talk for a minute, guys. Let the mods do some scrolling and looking. You all can scroll and look too, but don't um, try not to talk for a minute just so that the mods can scroll. You know, it makes it easier on them. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take a sip of juice here. And I usually wait for at least three confirmations. Three confirmations um, that we got the right person because I only got one set of these. So I can't mess. We can't mess this up. 154, closest to 154 without going over. Okay, so which Lisa? We had a couple Lisas here. Which Lisa? Lisa got 154. Which Lisa? Lisa who? Lisa Coloring Corner. Okay, so Lisa Coloring Corner. 
send me your address. Coloring cor corner corner. <laughs> So, Lisa Coloring Corner. Thank you, Sherilyn. Lisa, I'm going to send these to you. I'm assuming you're probably in UK if you have um, coloring with the, or maybe Canada. But either way, I'm going to send them to you. They're going to just go in a regular envelope. I mean, in a bubble envelope. So, yeah. Send me your address, Lisa. Somebody, somebody when, when you see Lisa talking, give her my email address again. Okay, so Lisa Coloring Corner, I'm going to send both of these to you. So, again, they're water-soluble crayons. Okay, so hopefully they work. Well, I've never tried them. Never tried them, but they're, these are coming to you. Okay, thank you, JL. Thank you, Janice. Um, Wednesday, next, this day after tomorrow, as long as we have, you know, no issues, you know, and the plumber's not, you know, no issues. Wednesday show, we're giving away, um, we're giving away um, this book, The Color Workshop. We're going to do that one on Wednesday. Okay. And then today, I also want to give away in a little while, in a little while, we'll space it out. Um, did she see that she won? I haven't seen. There she is. You're welcome. Then later on, I want to give away the set of the Jane Davenport Pastel Palette set. I did a test with them comparing them to Pan Pastels, which you know Pan Pastels are, you know, very, you know, concentrated, professional, um, you know, pigmented. It's hard to compare that to these. Um, so anyway, I will not be, you know, um, Zandra sent me these to test. So we tested them compared to pan pastels. But if I'm going to be using pastels, I will be using, uh, thank you, Sabrina, for the $20 um, uh, super chat. Thank you. Happy birthday, Dee Dee. Thank you, Sabrina. So I want to give away these. Um, so, yeah. Bye, Annie Rowe. We're going to do that after in a little bit. Okay, so let's get back to our pen testing. So, again, this one, uh, I'll just do it right over here because I'm on a big kind of piece of poster paper. All right, so let's go right over here, and we're going to kind of do a test, but I'm going to do a different, um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do some um, uh, lettering with these. So this set right here are the Faber-Castell, no, wait, wrong one, wrong set, wait a minute, wait for it, all right, I'm going to do that next. Okay, these are the uh, Sakura Pigma, the JD set is the only one I've been got the complete set of Pastels. Oh, okay, Vonnie, well, get, put your number in in a little bit. We'll do another drawing for those in a minute, or a few minutes. Okay, so now I want to test these um, brush pens. They're Pigma, FB Fine, MB Medium, and BB Bold. And um, they're by Sakura. And this is what they look like, Pigma, FB. They came three in a set. And these were $13.99, but they were, again, were 40% off. Here are the different... Uh, Here's the different line weights that they're showing here. And I do want to write that down. Let me just get a regular pen to write this down here. Let's get a regular. So, because I'm going to cut this paper up here. So these are going to be the Pigma MB <clears throat> BB and FB brush pins pin set okay all right so let's test these out and I'm going to do some lettering then we're going to test out the um, we're going to test out um, if they're waterproof or what not okay let's see them in here okay what does FB mean um, fine the F is the F is fine. The M is medium and the B is bold. Fine, medium, and bold. Yes. Thank you, Jean. 
All right, so let's start with a fine. And uh, yeah, musical scrapper. Let's do, and I'll, I'll try to do the whole name, Jean, and not break it up into the musical. <laughs> it's so fun. If y'all ever seen when sometimes Jean or you know puts in a link, it breaks up her name <laughs> from the musical scrapper. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. I'll just use Jean. So I want to start with the fine. All right, let's do the let's do the three here. Let's do. Look at that. Nice bowl. Now, again, I don't know if these are waterproof or anything. Okay, so I'm going to do... Oh, I'm pushing... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the medium. No wonder. I was going to say, no, no, no. All right. Forget that one. <laughs> okay, so let's do... Now, remember... Light on the upstroke, heavy on the downstroke. And I haven't practiced today, so. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. Thick down. Hang on, it's my other daughter, Annie, which this is, <laughs> I'll have to explain her uh, bird here. Hang on. Hi. Oh, are you gonna say I'm gonna put you on speakerphone so everybody can hear you sing? Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anna. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Logan. Oh, that was so sweet. Thank you so much. How are you doing? You what? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. We're waiting on the plumber to be here at one. No, it's from the water heater leaked. I know. No, it just leaked and it leaked into the den. So they took up all the carpet and yeah, it's a mess. But I'm streaming. So thanks for singing happy birthday to me to all the girls and guys. Thank you, Logan. Thank you for my birthday gift. I love getting that Amazon e-card. <laughs> and how's he doing in wrestling? I love seeing those videos on Facebook. Aw. All right. Thanks so much, Nini. Thank you, Logan. All righty. Bye. Okay, so that's my other daughter out in L.A. And my other grandson. Yeah. So, yeah, that was nice. They're three hours. It's 7.30 in the morning out there. Okay, let's get back. I know family stuff, but, you know, that comes first. Okay, um... Your, your grandson wrestles too? Oh, Debbie. Yeah, I got all kinds of videos. Um, she posts them on Facebook. Okay, so light on the upstroke, heavy on the downstroke. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Musical. And I'm just going to put scrapper down. No, I'll do the scrapper with the next one, Jean. Okay, so let's do the medium. Okay, so same thing. Heavy on the downstroke, up, down. This is the medium one. That E was kind of... Hmm. Yeah, I know, Terry. You're always here so early. I, I, I love you for doing that, too. <laughs> Terry's in Oregon. <laughs> she always gets here early. Because I start streaming at 8.30 Eastern time. Okay, so let's see. Let's do one more word here. Let's do streamer. We'll do a big streamer. I oh, See, I only got this. This is the end of the paper right here. 
So where we go here. All right, so here's the, here's the thick, this is the big brush, right? This is this one right here. Okay, so let's, I was going to try to do it as thin as I can, but. It's hard to do it with this one because it's really bendy. It's really bendy. So when I put pressure on it, it wants to really bend. So this is kind of tricky on this thick one. Okay, I'm going to run out of room. I'll put an E there. I can't have room for the R, Gene. Well, maybe I can barely. I'll squeeze in a little R. <laughs> oh, okay, so these are the Pigma Sakura brush pens and um let's heat it do it with the heat gun and then we'll do a test with the alcohol marker on top and the water okay all right let's test the water first yeah, squeezy. Yeah, the it's kind of I don't say it's floppy, but it's it's not as it's not as stiff as the the Tombow. It's a little floppier than the Tombow. Okay, so let's see what we got here. All right, let's test this. Okay, I'm having to if I rub it a lot, I can get some water on there. But let, if I just let's see here, let me clean this off. It, it's not. I would say it's water. I, it's almost, I would say almost waterproof. I'm, I rubbed it real hard there, but look, if I just go like, it's pretty waterproof. Okay, so water rubbed here, water streak here. And it's probably going to also depend on the paper. I had to just now my calendar alarm goes on until the <laughs> oh that's cute Bonnie okay so now let's test the and again this is a light light gray because I don't know where this is just the lightest uh Copic so let's see if um if it streams because remember these right here Copic did not did not streak Copic did not streak the um those so let's test this one No, it's not. It's Copics. Copics. Copic. Check. Yeah, I did dry it, Bonnie. Well, uh, you know, I draw. I dried it with the heat gun. So yeah. So yeah, the Copic is not making it. This is light, light gray. So if you see some end to end here. That's where the that's the color I'm using that gray right there, but it's not streaking. It's not moving the ink. Yeah, so there we go. That's pretty good, guys. That was a good test. All right, so there we go on those. So let me pick up all these pins. Put them over. Let's put them. In, let me put them in one of my pen trays. Let's put them. Let's put them down here. Put those going that way and put the pigments. I have some other pigments in here too, so we'll put those right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's use, now we're going to go with the Faber Castell. And again, they're calling this a lettering set. But you can buy these, you can buy all these uh not in a pen in a lettering set. Uh Oh, you had your heat gun here, my heat gun, because you had yours going, Bonnie. So this, this is a set, $14.99. Again, I got 40% off at Hobby Lobby. And um, these are they, they are advertised uh, Faber-Castell uh, pit pins as waterproof. So these are the different brush kinds. So there's a couple of, like, thinner brush tips. I'm going to show them to you here. And then kind of nib-type uh, tips. So we're going to try all those. All right, so I got a little bit more space up here at the top. Like, let's put a piece of something up there. I can put behind this so you can see. Um, 
It's a piece of black paper. Craft paper. So you can see the top of the page where we're working. All right, it goes. All right, so I'm going to do some more brush brush lettering with these. So let's start. We got, uh, I'll show you the different sizes. Let's put them in here. Um, okay. So this is a 1.5. Oh, let me make a note here of what they are. Um, brush, pit, pins, set. Okay, y'all still with the tour? <laughs> okay, so that's the 1.5. I'm not sure which. This is the calligraphy. This is the S. Let's call it SC. Like, I think this means small calligraphy. And it's really floppy. I don't know how I do calligraphy with that. Okay, so this is the S C. Uh, I guess if you do it like some like that, it's okay. Keep it at an angle. Logan's in oh hi Logan. Logan's in chat. Hi Logan. <laughs> Aww. Aww. And he calls me Mana. That's his name for me is Mana. Oh, hi, Logan. How you doing? <laughs> Aww. Yeah, that's my other grandson out in L.A. Thanks, NeNe, for putting them on. Yeah, he's in wrestling. He does really well. He's he's in a in a gym and a team. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Gene, for calling my attention. <laughs> he did, um, Logan did, uh, uh, well, it's, I guess it's probably been um, uh, almost two years. He was doing some toy unboxing videos a long time ago. So he has his own channel. <laughs> but I don't think he's posted anything in over a year. But, uh, yeah, he did some toy unboxing and he did some, uh, yeah, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Thanks, NeNe. Oh, well, we're testing out pins here, Logan. See, different kind of pins, different kind of uh, writing pins and drawing pins. And, uh, yeah. Logan's done me some art, too. He's, he's He can be a good artist, too, but I think right now he's concentrating on his sports. But he and, uh, he and Cam have gone to the... Uh, uh, what museum was it out there where they did drawing any, um, the, not, was it JP Morgan? What, which, which museum did they go to out there where they were drawing together at the museum? Um, I forget, <laughs> but anyway, so they've, they've gone out drawing together, uh, on, at the museum. Oh yeah. The Getty, the Getty. Yeah. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, the J. Paul Getty Museum. Yeah. You remember the pictures, Terry? Yeah. Thank you. So this is what we're testing out right now. We're testing. This was this the S, the small calligraphy. This is the 1.5, which I will write Logan. So let's see here. So this is with the 1.5. And then we will do the small SB. It's called SB small brush. SB. And let's see what we can do with this one. You can get some thick lines with that even.
like that, cursive. And then the last one is just B for brush. So let's see. This is just the brush one. It's a little stiffer. The SB is a little floppier. Bye, Logan. Have a great day. Do well in school. Love you. <laughs> oh, so sweet that he came in. Yeah, the brush. I would recommend the brush. It's got more... Um, it's not as floppy. The SB small brush is kind of floppy. But you can get bigger, wider lettering. But the this one you have more control over. Okay, so there's those brush pens. Okay, bye Marie. Feel better. Hi, Blue. All right, so let's test the water. Oh, let me hit it with the heat gun. Bonnie, we're going to we're going to dry. <laughs> The S is the script. Okay, Jean. Okay, so that's the script. All right, let me write that down. Script brush. Script brush. Well, it's really floppy, and it'd probably be good for something really big, bigger than this. You know, like a like a big letter. That would probably be fine. But you have more control with just the brush. The brush one is stiffer. Oh, my gosh, you did it again, Vami. Okay, so let's test the water here. Let's make sure my tip is clean. Okay, it is really waterproof. I think if I um, rub it, yeah, so even if I rub it, it's barely coming up. And, again, that can have to do with the paper, too, because the paper starts to peel. Okay, so this is water. And then we'll do it with the Copic. Say nothing, nothing shows with that. So all three of these sets, all three of these sets work fine with Copics. And that's good to know. <laughs> fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So let's back all the way out again so you can see the whole thing. <clears throat> so yeah, so there's some of our pen tests today on a piece of nice big piece of Bristol. Now I do want to show you, and that's again, that's the Faber Castell. And they come in, they they only they don't only not only come in the brushes, but they come in all kinds of uh, you know, point one, point two, point, you know, they come in all kinds as well. Okay, so there's those. Uh, then I wanted to show you, hang on, let me get that other, here it is. Now this is an old book and it's, it's called the technical pen. Oh, and let me show you a Danny Gregory too. Um, I have, a, I think I have all of Danny Gregory's books. This was his first one, I think, I think art book anyway. So we'll show you a couple of, uh, pen and ink. Uh, pens here. All right, let's see. Here, let's get this up here. Okay, I just said, uh, bye, Marie. Okay, said bye to Marie. Trying to keep up with chat. This is an older book. And he, oh, look, here's pictures of the rapidiographs. You've not seen the rapidiographs. This is what they look like. And they're white with different color, little, the color indicated the size of the nib. And they they weren't like felt tip. They were like a it's like a wire. Okay, it's like a wire inside the pen that the like a little thin tube that with the wire in it that the pen would come down and you'd have to refill them and you had to clean them and clean them and it was like, terrible. They're hard as heck to use. And uh, you know when we were doing uh, detail work with the cross stitch, you know little symbols. They would clog so easily, especially because we were working on clay coated paper, which picked up a little bit. Oh, it was a mess. But they didn't have, they didn't have these, you know, your felt 
you know, all this other stuff back then. Uh, technical pens, pens. I'm talking back in the 80s, early 80s. Well, early to mid uh, 80s. Anyway, I got to fix. I'm sitting on a blanket here. And it's all jacked up. <laughs> so my soft little blanket is all in a wad. Let me refold my blanket here. And uh, so anyway, it was a lot of work to do. It was a lot of work to do technical pen work, right? And this guy, this book is that old. <laughs> yeah, pens have come a long way. So um, this was in year one. There we go. Okay. This book is from... Nineteen ninety-two. So this book is nineteen ninety-two. I won't go through the whole book because I kind of want to do some more in Alfonso's pen and ink work, or show you more in this one. This is his new one. This one—I don't even know if you can get this book anymore. <laughs> this was, like I said, from nineteen ninety uh, nineteen ninety-two. He acknowledges. Or let me read this. In the early nineteen eighties. Kohenor Rapidiograph began running a series of ads featuring the work of artists and exemplified the potential of the technical pen. The series was the brainchild of Kohenor's Vince Trippi. It received so much attention that it was surely a major contributor to the growing popularity of the medium. At one of the contributing or oh, as one of the contributing artists, I, the author, was perhaps most interested and pleased to discover how well the pens could be used for virtually all kinds of techniques and subjects. And they are, they're awesome. But our technical pens, like the zero, you know, this zero, zero, three, you want this. You don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to try to do a Kohenor. I mean, you can, but you know, and I don't can. I don't know where, if there's, I guess they're still selling them. But, uh, oh, you found the book? Thanks, Terry. So anyway, the book is even starting to yellow around the edges. It's, you know, but this is the kind of work he does. Look at this. Now, you don't have to have the Kohenors to do this. You can do this now with this. <laughs> the 003, the 005, you know, the tiny. You can do this kind of stuff that, with that. But look at the detail on here. Can you all see? This is, I love this book. I love, love, love this book. I have had it since 19, what did I say, 92? So anyway, um, he shows a lot of different things about the pen. Here's how you take it apart, how you clean it, pain in the butt. <laughs> so anyway, and, you know, here's the different sizes, 0 0.13, 0 0.18, 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 35, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1.00, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 2.0. And here's all the different line widths down there that they would come in. So, yeah. So here's, I'm going to show you some of his drawings here. But there's one that I'm specifically wanting to get to in this book uh, showing, uh, I, I think it's a Robin Hood, where he has drawn the exact same Robin Hood, but with different strokes. He did cross hatching. I think he did stippling. All different. All different. Yeah. Look here. This is how you take care of those pins. <laughs> uh, but it's all. That's true, Terry. That's all we had back then. That's all we had. We didn't have the things we have now. Hi, uh, Katrina. Anybody else I might have missed? Donna, Dusty. So anyway, look at all this on just how to take care of the pen. Um, so look at this right here. Look at that work. Isn't that just stunning, guys? Look at that. You see this picture in front of the book at your art class? Yeah. Well, that's the Robin Hood. I guess it's Robin Hood. I don't remember the, what the, he called it. But I want you. To I want to show you. I want to show you the complete. Uh, here's pointillism. That's all in dots, guys. That's every bit of that's dots. And it's not even showing up that well on here. Okay, so let's get over to. Oh, I wanted to draw some feathers today. Just seeing this reminded me. Okay, so here's where he shows all the. 
uh, different kinds of, oh, these are his common mistakes with pin strokes where they don't match, they don't meet, or they overlap too much. So he's showing all the different, I need to reread this book. It's been a while. Basic pin strokes and their uses. Oh, look at this feather. <gasps> Ooh, see, I need to do a feather today. That won't be this good, <laughs> but I want to do some feathers. Okay. Um, and then he does some kind of cartoons, some sketchy, some stippling, just all different, different. Um, and like this looks like that editorial type that you could see in newspapers at back then. I don't, I think the Wall Street Journal, but that's probably all computerized now, but they have this kind of sketchy look. Yeah, that's Peter Fonda. Look at the, look at the, can y'all see this different strokes? Do feathers? Okay. Oh, let's see. This one has, he does these little boxes, like here's the little boxes of the kinds of strokes that he's using. Like there, and then he's using that in this piece. I don't know if you can see all that detail in that, in that, uh, robe oh was it Henry did I say Peter Fonda oh sorry Henry Fonda yeah let's let's the father not the son yeah <laughs> thank you Jean um okay so I want to get over to where he's uh doing a more pointillism okay then he shows Pin strokes and design and competition. So here is the, oh, he's calling it a monk. Okay, I thought it looked like a Robin Hood, I guess because of the feather. So here's his initial, the initial um, drawing that he has here. I can't get any, let me try to zoom in better than lifting it up. There we go. Okay, now what he does, here's all the different basic pin strokes. See all these? These are all awesome to practice with. So here is different ones that he's done. Monk one, monk two, monk three, monk four. And then here are the different strokes that he uses to do it. So I'm going to show you them one by one. Look at this. So there's the boxes of stuff he's using on this one. Oh. It's probably best if I just leave it there so you can see it probably. So here's the different boxes that he's using. And see, look how different each one looks. See the different effects you can get depending on the kind of pen strokes you use? Every one looks different. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. So see how different they all look? This one he put glasses on, but let's just kind of scroll across here. They all look so different depending. Yeah, Kenny, um, uh, uh, Terry posted a link. It's I guess she found it on Amazon. There it is. I don't know how much it is. How much is it, Terry? Did you notice? But look at all the different ways. Look at the leaves. So see all the leaves in the background? Look how the different strokes make different leaves. $18.95, that's good. That's not bad at all. See, look at them all. Everyone is different depending on the backgrounds, whether he's got a full frame background, no frame background. Everyone is different depending on the different types of strokes and thickness of line. I find that rapidographic light pins are more pressure sensitive and you can get motion. Yeah, you can, Ian, with the new modern ones. Yeah, the, the, because the regular, these rapidographs were steel tips, steel nibs. Okay, they were steel, like steel nibs with a, a it was like a barrel with a wire in it. The, these, the ones we use now are like felt tip, right? Do you have the hardcover? It's the, it's the paperback, Kenny. Um, yeah, it's the paperback. So look, at, again, look at all the different values that he gets depending on the, the strokes and, and uh, how much inking he does. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? 
I mean, there's just, I think there's like 30, oh, he's, this is 24. And so here he gives you the outline to try it yourself. So you could just make your own copies of it and then go try all these, <laughs> all those different ways to do the same piece for practice, right? Maybe someday I should print this out and we should do one. We should try to do one. Oh, there's only one left on Amazon. <laughs> I don't think these are going to be reprinted, guys. Uh, I don't know, you know. Thank you, Gilly. So maybe one of these days we'll print this out and do do one of the 24 options, right? So again, just all kinds of different techniques. And then toward the back, he adds some inks. Uh, it might be watercolor. I don't know. Not sure. But anyway, so that's called the technical pen. And it's it's an I've had it's yellowing. My copy is yellowing around the edges. Uh 1992. 1992. Okay, the other one that I pulled to just to talk about a minute is the creative license. And this this is where Danny Gregory he says, giving yourself permission to be the artist. Here comes the cat. Okay, you're gonna have to lay down, baby. You're gonna have to lay down. It's Oliver this time. It's Oliver. <laughs> um, if y'all remember some years ago, he had a, a blog called Everyday Matters. And he would post like, I don't know, there's a couple hundred different prompts. And he would prompt people to draw. And his he really he his idea is that you try to practice drawing in pen without pencil, just so that you get used to, nope, you can't go that way. I know you want to get on the cord. Okay, let's get down. Um, <laughs> they love the cords. So um, he really wants you to draw every day. Draw, no, baby, no, no, no. Um, draw every day and draw in ink. Yeah, I love, all, I, I think I have all of his books. And this one came out. Two thousand six. So he and I know it has a little some little bit of nudity in here. So just FYI, there might be a little bit of nudity. But he wants you to draw everything: your stamps, your food, the things in your cabinet, your clothes, your dishes, your plants, your bottles, your pets. Draw everything, everything in ink. And it's training you, it's training you to um, not, um, there's nothing wrong with sketching and erasing. I do that too. Trust me. Hi, Hella. I do that too. But it's, it's also a good practice to see how well you, or how you'll stare at something more and draw it if you know you can't erase. Okay. So this book is awesome if you are afraid to start drawing. It gets you past your fear. Let me read a little bit of this intro here. Too many people seem to feel they are not and cannot ever be creative. They'd love to write or draw or paint or dance or act or play music, but they're afraid to even try. Some of them also wish they could be more creative professional professionally, but have taken a career path that makes them that seem impossible. Others have begun to dabble in creative matters, but somehow find themselves blocked or limited or lost and need to help break through. This book is designed to give you, all of you, something you actually already have, permission to be intensely, brilliantly, wonderfully creative, even though you probably don't believe it at this point. This gift is something that only you can give yourself. It's not a matter of genetics or social permission or money or talent. It's just a matter of will. Getting there requires some work. It also means you're going to have to let go of some preconceptions and take a few ri risks. None of these things is terribly scary, I promise. Here's how to think about it. If you are an adult, you almost certainly know how to drive a car. It's not a skill you were born with. But once you learn the basics and practiced it a bit, you are able to do it at will. Now you do it intuitively, fluidly, at least well enough to have kept you alive up to this point. Your driver's ed started with learning some principles on paper, the rules of the road, how to read traffic signs. 
how to park and so forth. Then you took a written test to see if you had absorbed this information. If you passed, you were allowed to sit behind the wheel for the first time what, with your instructor, or if you were unlucky, your dad showed you the ropes. So for everything, so far everything you've of so far everything you've absorbed was informative and facts. When you started the engine for the first time and shifted into gear, your education entered a new dimension. You had to rely less on rational thought than on intuitive and sensation to make the small course corrections necessary for driving. So he goes on to compare your creativity and learning and the and and processes and and all that. But it's awesome. It's an awesome book. If you've never tried to draw, you're afraid to draw, you know, and, and I'm telling you guys, he will, he'll show you how to, he'll draw a lot of stuff that you think is, well, that doesn't even, look, this is not perfectly drawn. Look, that is not perfectly, there's no ruler involved in this, it's not perfectly drawn. It's crooked, the squares aren't perfect, you see, so, but he, he starts to train you how to see, how to look, how to observe. As you see here, this he says he well then maybe you should get him this book. Maybe you should get him this book, Crafty Kitty. Okay, so now moving back over to Alfonso Dunn's drawing in pen and ink workbook, which again he has a pen and ink book, and then this is the workbook that goes with it. But look at all the different strokes in this. Look, there's dots, there's dashes, there's lines, there's overlapping lines, just straight lines. Sideway lines, up and down, you know, horizontal, vertical, cross hatching, uh, negative space, little dots, circles. Look at all the different textures you can get. You know? And this book is fairly new, 2018. Okay, the workbook. I'm not sure when the, I don't have his book, so I'm not sure when the book came out. But I want to get to, okay, so I want to get back here to some exercises. He spends a lot of time here for giving you outline, some line art to start to shade with ink. Okay, so you got a lot, it's, it's all about practicing, all of it. It's just tons and tons and tons and tons. And then in the back, he gives, you know, the last, oh, 25, 30 pages maybe. Uh, I can't try something. <laughs> And so he gives you different, you know, exercises, scribbles, you know, here's some like little loopy marks. So it's just all different, all different marks. Okay, so I want to, I want to draw some feathers or a feather. So you can see just different. He gives you, like I said, gives you the line art for you to practice with. And if you were going to start this, if you were going to do this, I would get his main book and this book. Okay. Not just the workbook. It's a, I think, I think it's just called pen and ink drawing by Alfonso. Uh, and he has a, he has a YouTube channel, so you can go watch him on YouTube. Okay. Oh, thank you, baby, for that mouse. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that mouse. She brought me one of her toy mouse or he did rather. <laughs> I know you want me to play with you. I can't do it right now. And if I throw it, you're going to go right through my cords. Go that way. <laughs> so anyway, all just different little exercises here at the back. And uh, yeah, over 100 drills and exercises. And he's just, all right, lay down for a minute, baby. I'll pet you for a minute. But then mama's got to draw. Mama's got to draw. Let's zoom back out. So, yes, art and kitties. I know, guys. It's, that's why I don't usually let them in. Because, you know, I definitely don't let them in when I'm doing pan pastels or any kind of wet paint. Oh, now you want that? Okay. You know? <laughs> oh, baby. You're going to have to move so Mama can draw a feather. Okay. You, can, you don't need to chew on that. Let's don't chew on that. No, no, no. No, let's don't. Where's your mouse? Oh, did I throw it away? I throw it across the room. Okay, you're going to have to get down. Here, you like this. I know you like this. He loves this brush. 
Yes, you've seen the pictures with the pan pastel. Yes, Malibu was red, blue, and, and yellow for a month. That stuff did not come out of her fur for like a month. Completely out, you know. And I tried to wash it out. I tried to baby wipe it out. And it just smeared. And it started just growing and growing. <laughs> it looked like she'd been shot. Because she had this big red blob on her. So I said, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't try to wash this out. So, okay. So here, let's take this brush. How about taking this brush and going on the floor? There you go. Let's go on the floor. There you go. Go on. Go on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another big piece of paper here. Oh, let's go on the other side. That's got a mark on it. And this, oh, baby, he's bringing me the mouse again. I can't throw it in here. You're going to get in my cords. Come on. Let's go. Go, go that way. Go that way. I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to lock them out in just a minute. Okay. All right. So let's get my papers here. Let's pull this sideways. I'm going to stack them up. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got, let me take them out, guys. I got to take them. Let's take you and your mouse. Come on. I'll throw it down the stairs for you. Another go. That's the gavel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we'll never get anything done. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what we want to use. Do I want to start with, do I want to start with, uh, oh, let me start with finding a feather. <laughs> All righty. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the other giveaway before I start. That way, depending on how long I work on the feather. So I don't have to work to, you know, we can uh, do this giveaway. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, the mods, that way the mods, Terry might need to leave pretty soon too. All right, so here's how it works again. I still have my, you know, this was the last number. I'm not going to generate a new number yet. When I generate, a new number will pop up. That's the number from the other giveaway. So wait till I type in go. When you see me type in go. Then you will put in a number between 1 and 200. One number only. Or otherwise, I'm going to have to get this can out. <laughs> One number only. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, dear, uh, uh, Julie. And uh, when I type in go, then put in one number between 1 and 200. One number only, the first person closest to the random generated number. This is not it. This is the last number. I'm going to generate a new number. Uh, we'll get this little pan pastel, I mean, not pan pastel, pastel palette by Jane Davenport. And this is the little card that came in. And I already did a little uh, test on it. I'll, I'll put that in there too. So there's no tools with it. I don't have any makeup sponges or her. She has specific little brushes and stuff. You'll have to just either get that yourself or just test it out with makeup wedges or makeup sponges or whatever. Okay. So Xandra sent this to me to test on the pan pas with the pan pastels, which I did last week. And uh, so I'm going to send this, give this away because I, I will be using pan pastels. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and, okay, good, there we go, sit here and have some, one number only now, remember guys, one number only, so it's my little birthday gift to you guys, and while we're doing that, let me see what pen I want to use for some feathers, do I want to use the brush pens, do I Maybe I'll just pull out all these same pins that we have, the past the drawing pins and the brush pins. Maybe we'll use these. Just use the same ones we used today. Okay, one number between one and two hundred. I will count down in just a minute. So don't wait too long. Don't wait too long. And thanks again, everybody, for all the birthday wishes, the super chat, the PayPal, and um, I'm gonna I'll be sending you all out some little thank you notes um, when I get my printer hooked back up. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start counting down. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, quickly, quickly, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Okay, so here we go. We're going to generate a new number. Ready and generate. 92. The closest to 92 without going over. 92. 92. So give the mods and every, everybody can go look for themselves, but the mods, I, I go by what my mods say, and I usually wait for two or three of them to tell me. So, yeah, I'll send this little um, palette pastel skin tone Jane Davenport, and uh, we've used it a couple, just a couple times to test. So it kind of looks like makeup. And the little face that comes with it to practice on. Okay, we'll see who's the closest to 92. <clears throat> anybody seen yet? Anybody? Bueller, Bueller, did anybody get 92 right on? Is my chat still working? Okay, Christine had 89. Okay, Christine, which Christine? Which Christine had 89? Christine who? Christine G? Okay, there are others with 89, but Christine was first. Christine G. Christine G, here's my email. Email me your address. And you have these, Christine. You will have these. Thank you, Blue. Okay. So email me, Christine, okay? All right, guys. So let's see. Let's do a little feather drawing for a few minutes. Um, I think I will go with pencil because I'm going to go so big here. I think I will sketch it out with the, my blue pencil. Yes. Oh, you know what? I need to put these in my new pencil case, don't I, Terry? If y'all missed it, let me show again. Terry made these two. Terry made these two uh, pencil cases, and she's got her little... She's got a little tag on there. She said her Etsy is not open right now, but she does take custom orders. So, yeah, look at this. So well made. All lined and everything. I love the vintage fabric, too. Here's the other one. Aren't those pretty? I know, right, Kim? They're so cool. Yes, please email me, Christine. If you don't, I won't have your address. I gotta have it to mail you your um, pastels. So yeah, she has her own little little tag there or Etsy. But again, just get with Terry if you want one. Um, and uh, she takes she's taking orders. So I love them. Love them so much. Okay. Let's see about drawing. Um, let's draw a big feather here. I'm going to start with just some blue pencil. And I think you can kind of see the whole sheet here. All right, let me find a picture of a feather. <laughs> let's do a little uh, let's do a little research here. Um, let's find a feather picture. There's that video there. Let's move that. Um, and I'm not going to try to copy one feather exactly. I've got, you know, there's all kinds here. I'll just, I want to just kind of get a random. Maybe sometime I'll do another peacock feather. I know, didn't she do an awesome job, Suze? Okay, so let's see. Here's, here's a feather. Uh, I'm not going to copy, like I said, I'm not going to copy it exactly. Uh, but I want to do a little pen and ink. So let's see here. Let's do a... Let's do a big feather. And it's probably going to be hard to see the blue line at first. Oh, there we go. Yeah, email or Terry. There's Terry's email right there. Okay. Okay, so let's see. 
I'm going to have, how big will it be? I'm just going to get, get a few like lines here where I, I want it to, want it to be. There's the center of the feather. Can y'all see anything I'm doing? I'll do, I'll get to the ink pretty quickly. Okay. So it won't be, why do I have a shadow here? Where's is this on this side? I don't know why I have that shadow on that side for some reason. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Maybe these will be bigger here in the middle. I'm just putting a nice little sketch out here. Okay, so we got a nice big feather sketched out. Can y'all see it? <clears throat> okay. People are messaging me on Messenger. Happy birthday. I, should, I thought I had the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I turned the volume up or off because my grandson called. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get some the, some of the thicker lines in there first. Can y I don't know why there's a shadow right there. That's really kind of freaking me out. Uh, I don't know why it went, uh, it went kind of dark on that side. Let's see here. Let's see, we can brighten that up some more. Let's move this way. Let's move this one over a little. Oh. There we go. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. Uh. I'm going to start with the brush. I'm just going to start with the Faber-Castell brush pen. Are we good, guys, on the lighting and all? I know it's a little weird because it's so white. Everything's so white. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Now I think I'm going to go with a little bit thinner. Let's see. Let's go to these little pins. Let's go to the little pins. I'm going to test it out right here next to me. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want thick, but I don't want to brush. Okay, so now. Ah, caught my sleeve. I caught my sleeve on the edge. It's okay. <clears throat> Maybe I'll back out a little more because it's big. This is, uh, oh, I'm backed out all the way. <laughs> okay. So this is probably about a, it's half, it's half of my full sheet. So let's. It's uh, 15 by 20 by 15. And the full sheet is half, double that. Hi, Wendy. All right, so let me just start by getting in some basic. feather shape in here. There are going to be some that are going to, they're going to overlap and all that, but 
It has some thin areas and some thicker areas. <clears throat> so I hope you all enjoyed today on my birthday. My birthday stream. A little pen and ink. <laughs> Bye, great. Have a good day. Don't forget, Janet comes on at one. I'm gonna as soon as I work on this for a few minutes, I'll be I'll be probably leaving here shortly because you know the hub's just coming back for lunch and the plumber will be here at one. So and then Jean is streaming at four. And she's going to be doing those image transfers. Oh, see, I just smeared that. Got to pay attention what I'm doing. Trying to read chat and make swoopies at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Nanamo. And thanks, everybody, for being here for my birthday. It was great. I want it all kind of fuzzy down here. You know, the edge of the feather is a little bit more fuzzy. And this is no specific bird. I'm just trying, just doodling a feather. Okay, so let's go back to the brush pen now. Let's go back to the brush pen. Another year younger. Oh, thank you, Kim. Your next all will love you, but next year expect cake. You want cake next year? I have cake, but um, um, the the picture of it is on on Hubster's phone. It was an. It was just a. It's just store bought cake. Store bought. <laughs> what did Janet say? Unless Eileen tells me different. And just oh scavenger hunt page oh yeah and let's uh, remind everybody if you're if you um, are doing Janet's scavenger hunt um, I think it's seventy things you collect seventy things it can be a composition book it can be in anything and then any kind of book and then um, if you finish all seventy you can get with Janet and she will enter you into a drawing when is the draw when is the time when's the time limit Janet how much time is it? Is the first of March? Oh, I don't recall. And um. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Norma. And Norma, please keep in touch with me. I'm gonna as soon as the stream's over, I'm gonna go check on your uh, fish again. We gotta keep track of that. Oh, good. Oh, good. You, of the of mine or of different ones, Terry? Terry said she tweeted some more pictures of pencil cases. I'm just going to, I'm trying to roll this up on my lap because it's bigger than my desk right here. So anyway, uh, maybe y'all will try some, a little bit of pen and ink. And, uh, you know, with the technical pencils that we have these days, right? Oh, mine. Okay, good. Yeah, I love I love my pencil case, Terry. Okay, let's so do some little thin little. Okay. 
little furry ones down here. <clears throat> Thank you. We're just, we're winging this feather here, guys. <laughs> we're winging this feather. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that was funny. We're winging this feather. <laughs> yes, Terry. How <laughs> funny, yeah. Okay, there's our base. There's our skeleton. <laughs> yeah, Donna, that should go in my wing nut book, shouldn't it? I should put that in the wing nut book. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Let me show y'all wing nut book again. Because we're all just a bunch of wing nuts. Here's the wing nut book. I've had this for I don't even know how many years. It's just one of those Tim Holtz wing nut books, but we put wing nuts on it. And it's what it is is just funny stuff like this. It's just stuff like this. I don't date it. I just try to put who said it. And then it just all goes in the book. Kitty Nato, Terry Trouble. So anyway, there's, I can't, there's probably hundreds in here. Of <laughs> Anytime anybody says anything quippy, quotey, you know, quirky, it goes in the wing nut book. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nora. Okay, so now I'm going to take my, back to my um, uh, point eight. That we started with, and this is let me let me zoom in now. <laughs> and can do some more. Um, like I'm gonna turn it because it's easier for me, and then start doing more more detail. Circa 2010 or 11. Yeah, I think so. It was something like that, Julie, when we started that book. 10 or 11. <laughs> um well you know i think we did do that one time i pulled the wing nut book back out and we tried to read some of it and none of it it's all it's all you have to be there kind of thing none of it makes any sense to if you weren't there you know Let 
I'm gonna fix where I smeared that one. Okay, I'm just gonna keep working here. If you have any questions or anything, I can watch chat now. I've been called the had to be there book. <laughs> no, you really did kind of have to be there, but it's been so fun to do them. One of these days, I think I'm gonna do a, a vintage show. A show where, um, like, we'll do a all about you, maybe make a collage again, like we did in the olden days, <laughs> where we pick some, we pick somebody. All about you was where we would pick somebody, and do uh, we'd ask them questions. We'd ask them all kind of questions, like your favorite color, your favorite, uh, where would you love to travel, your favorite. Uh, what do you like to use your favorite medium, everything. And we'd ask all different kinds of questions. And then while we were asking the questions, I would do a um, collage. And like, for instance, Eileen, um, her favorite, I think it was her favorite song, your favorite band, your favorite era. And uh, we did um, Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello. And so I just found, you know, I went and I and I would dig through my collage stuff and find things to try to make a collage based on the answers while we were ans while we were asking the answers or asking the questions. <clears throat> How's it looking, guys? And, of course, I had them all up on Flickr, but Flickr is bye-bye, so all the Flickr is gone. So I do have some of the pictures in um, somewhere, one of my computers, or uh, it was before I even had, I, it was even before I did a uh, phone, uh, iPhone. So I didn't, I don't even have pictures of them from the phone, I don't think. Maybe toward the end I did, but... Uh, So yeah, love this feather. Your fluffy, fluffy, fluffy line work. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's. Let me do that real quick. She, uh, Bonnie was talking about looking like eyelashes. Oh, there's Cameron messaging me happy birthday. One moment, please. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And a whole bunch of hearts to my grands. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, people make the mistake when they're when an eye, like let's just do it right here. All right, so you have an eye, right? Let's just say you have an eyeball here. Uh, I'm not gonna draw the whole eye, but you know, you got an eye here. And what people have a tendency to do with eyelashes is like try to make them, and I'm not saying you do this, Vonnie. But they think that eyelashes, like, go, you know, they do like that, right? Or, you know, sometimes straight up. But you need to do eyelashes like this. Just flick. Flick them up. Flick, flick, flick. And they kind of overlap a little. They're not like that. They're not like, and I'm not saying you do yours <laughs> But it's the same kind of thing with feathers. Bye, Terry. Wait, Terry. Have you already gone? Here's my phone. Wait a minute, Terry. Let's say bye to Miss Terry. We're only going to be here for a few more minutes, guys. I want to work on this feather a few more minutes. Okay, let's see here. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the happy birthday, Terry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that would be good. 
Now that's um, what that is. Is the uh, Darth Vader? Oh, the Jaguar. Oh no, that's for Terry. Terry's a Jaguar. I mean a uh, a Cougar. Sorry, it's the Jaguar sound, but it's because Terry's a Cougar. She's she's married to a much well not I want to say much younger, but she's married to a younger guy, so we call her the Cougar. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so funny. <laughs> Bye. Resident Cougar, that's right. That's right, Terry. And so and so now that she's got her CPAP mask, we I also have to play the Darth Vader. I have to play the Darth Vader um sound to go with it, right? <laughs> bye Suze thank you so much for being here thanks so much guys I appreciate it don't forget uh, Janet's going to stream at one she's going to work on the scavenger hunt so if anybody's doing the scavenger hunt you probably want to check that. Jean's going to do some. Um, Jean's going to work on uh, image transfers at four. I will be hanging out with my plumber. So what's everybody else got going on this week? Anybody have anything fun? I do plan on going up to see Denise and the kids next weekend. Maybe get over to Barnes & Noble. I don't know if I'll get downtown to Blick, the Varsity, and the museum. But I wouldn't mind, um, I don't know, uh, maybe film. I don't know. I, don't have to, I think they do. They let you photograph in the museum. They actually want you to photograph. That's funny because the museum wants you to photograph so that you put on social media. It helps promote the museum. Unless it, maybe there might be some specific exhibitions where they don't want you to photograph. But even the Andy Warhol and the, I don't remember, the, so many that uh, they let you, they let you uh, take pictures and everything. You know, now that, you know what, I ought to add some Copic to this. Because now that we know Copic can go over this pen without it smearing, let's add some Copic, shall we? <gasps> we shall. Shall we will. <laughs> We're going to Copic this feather. Okay, Susie, thank you. Thanks so much. And thanks, everybody, that gave me super chat for my birthday. So sweet. Y'all are so nice, so <laughs> so generous. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. I'm going to put some Copic on this in here in a minute. Yes, and Google Plus will be sh uh, shutting down. Uh, Ian, do you know if that's going to affect the Google Hangouts? I didn't even think about that. Uh, Google Plus is shutting down. Uh, April 1st. I didn't, I have a Google account, Google Plus account, uh, but I didn't really do a lot with it. But is that going to affect the Hangouts? Do you know, Ian? Or anybody? Does anybody know if it's going to affect Google Hangouts? Where there's multiple, you know, multiple streamers can hang out. I don't know. Does anybody know? Um, I don't know. I don't use it, uh, Donnie, so I can't tell you. Jean might know. Uh, 
Um, Jean, did you say yes? It flew, um, yes, but oh, that's on Google Documents. Uh, I, I didn't see anything on the Hangouts. Does anybody know on the Hangouts? Because I don't, I don't use it for anything else, and I don't even do my own Hangouts. I just hang, you know, I go watch them. But uh, you know, where multiple streamers can be in the same. You know, I've been on been on them before but uh, nobody know Jean Jean would be the one that probably would know no answer hangout is incorporated into YouTube now but hangout is being replaced later this year. Do you know with what, Ian? Or into 2020, Ian said uh, it's going to be replaced. What's it going to be replaced with? I haven't really kept up with it. I mean, I know YouTube and Google, you know, but Google Plus is gone. I didn't know if that was going to affect any of the Hangouts. But Ian said it's going to be re uh, replaced with something. Oh, okay, nobody really knows. You're welcome, Nina. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to get out some Copics on this feather because we can. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> you make a birthday feather, right? Okay, a little bit more shading. I'm going to just turn it around. Thank you, Cat. Thanks, everybody. I love that name, Cat and Paste. That's such a clever name. It really is, Cat and Paste. All right, this side needs more, some more random ones. Let me get my brush back out here. All right, so let's... It's a fuzzy feather. It's a giant hat. <laughs> I was thinking of an inkwell, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do a little more shading here. I think I'll just go ahead and do any kind of shading with Copics. All right, so now I gotta decide what color feather or what kind. Oops, no, I don't want the. Sorry, oh. I have to decide what um, what color feather I want this to be. What color feather do I want this to be? Any preferences on feather colors? Anyone? I'm gonna sleep now. Okay, Melody, I didn't even think you were still here. Oh my gosh, Miss Melody. And thank you too, Miss Melody, for my birthday. Um, my birthday money. Well, I won't tell you what I or I already ordered something with it, Melody. Okay, so any colors, neutrals? Uh, let me back out again. It's big. It's a big feather. We can go this way with it. <clears throat> Blues, teal blues. If I want blue, I think I'd want to go with gray blues. Gray blues. You know. Let's see. I like that blue that we did in her that girl's hair. This blue. This is uh, B99. B99, but can't be too much of that because we'll lose all the, it's dark. You know, we don't want too dark. This is going to be too light. Well, maybe not. Maybe these, maybe I will go with um, B93 and B99. What do y'all think? Yeah. 
Now, if I do purple and green, Ian, that would be on a, um, that would have to be on a, what do you call it? A peacock feather. Peacock feather. All right. So let's see here. Now, y'all know I'm not a I'm not a Copic girl. We'll see what happens here. Do a little at a time. Just going back and forth between the two. think Guys, I want to keep working this. Yeah, it's pretty with the color, isn't it? bit more light blue right in here. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, the color pops, yeah. In black and white too. Hi Sharon, how you doing? I'm not chatting in there much. I'm trying to get this done. You like both too? Hey, Colleen. But what's nice is to know that we can go over those pins. The pins that we tested today. If y'all weren't here earlier, we did some pin testing on all these different sets. <clears throat> and Copics do not um, affect it. Any of them. The Pit, the Marvy Cheetah, or the Sakura. Um, none of them are affected by Copics.
almost done. <laughs> uh, hi, Angela. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, again, for being here on my birthday while I'm waiting for the plumber to come and uh, install a new, uh, put a little dark blue down the center there. Um, install a new water heater in my house after the den got, I don't want to say flooded because it didn't like flood like, you know, it wasn't like, we weren't standing in water or anything, but it did ruin the carpet. All right, let me take another little look-see at it. What do y'all think? I think I need a few more dark blue. Nope, not that ink. Extra long. It's a fluffy one, this feather is. It's a fluffy one. little swirly ones back in there. Okay. All right. I think that's good. There we go. I don't know if it needs anything else. All right, guys. Um, was there anything else? Was there something else I was going to do? What else was I going to do? Am I missing something? Did I forget something? Let me know. Last call for ketchups. <laughs> And again, guys, it was fun doing all these different little tests here. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to know, you know, we got to test the Copics and everything. Had to test the Copics. Um, I could have a couple like random long ones kind of sticking out here. Can I don't know. I guess you can't have too many feather fl feather fluff. <laughs> Hi, Dot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Janet. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out. Don't forget, Janet's going to be on in about an hour. Thanks, everybody, for being here. If you're watching this recording, remember it takes about an hour. It takes about an hour for a full three-plus hour video and all the chat to render. So if you don't get the full video for about an hour, it's that's why. So, uh, yeah. So thanks, everybody. I'm glad we got to do a, a couple of giveaways. And uh, thank you again, everybody, for all the birthday wishes and super chat and everything. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it so much. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Maybe hold, hold, hold the feather. <laughs> Bye.